What's going on, y'all? We're back. We are back with another one. Sam's in studio. What's going on, man? Sam, speak, speak say something. Make sure we can I be. I <laughs> be. What's up? There's God. I'm wearing Bruce Lee again. Someone complained in your comment section. Oh, Bruce Lee, huh? Shut up, you fake. Don't make sure you become alive. Man, they don't. I can't say that. They, 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 yeah. That's, that's, so I said I'm set on life. learning. He's learning, y'all. Yeah. I'm proud of you. We're doing it again. We're back, you guys. Make sure you guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share the live. Go ahead and tap the screen and things of this nature. Um, Sam, uh, you know, we, we have, you know, connection issues and stuff like yeah, this. Exactly. By the way, <clears throat> I've realized connection here sucks because even the hotel room, same problem. Same thing? Yeah, same thing. So yeah. it's not just you. It's just the internet around this area is not too good. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is that because people are getting up the internet? I don't know. It's gone. See, it I'm is. so confused because I'm supposed to look here, but I'm used to looking over there because it's, it's Yeah, yeah. It's if you want to look anywhere, look here and I'll here. Try, I'll try. Here and here. Uh, yes. How come you got two of them? What's that? What, uh, what, what? What's that over there? This monitor? No, here, this one. This is a camera. This is the StreamYard camera, man. Oh yeah, so this is this is oh, how we cool. look good right oh, there. Oh, I see. You know, and then this I'm is TikTok. <laughs> for TikTok. So this is YouTube. This is YouTube. Damn, man. You ever want to address YouTube? Talk to the you. All right, but right it sucks, YouTube. No matter how much weight I lose, my love handles. I got to work on my apps. Pray for my success. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So okay. Sam, go ahead and entertain them for a little bit. Lead us in prayer. All right, I gotta use the restroom. Okay, guys. Yes, be focused. By the way, El Messi. He said, "Hey, what's up, loser?" He's one of your supporters. El Messi. <laughs> you see him on Discord. Yeah, I think, right. I love him. Okay, guys, be prayed up. You know how we roll. Now on my channel, I'm very strict, but this brother is more gracious than me. I like to keep things focused, but he's gonna be live on TikTok, inviting Muslims to answer specific challenges. So we asked. The Lord God to bless this session. So, Father, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> please fill Avery and myself by your Holy Spirit, by the power of your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> enable us to perfectly recall every jot to a portion of Scripture. Recall the facts perfectly clearly. Exegete Scripture correctly. Present the facts accurately. Save us from error. Correct us from any mistakes. And more importantly, Father, give us the power to hate sin, die to sin, crucify our flesh. And walk obedience to your son, the Lord Jesus. Because it's not about ministry. Destroy our pride, our arrogance, our ego. Destroy our fake piety, fake humility, fake humbleness. Make us doers of the word. Because the focus of life is to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. To love the Lord Jesus Christ. To obey the Lord Jesus Christ. And to enjoy him. Because it says, in your presence are everlasting pleasure. So flood us, your people, your children, Father. And your infinite joy, love, and peace. And do that for our loved ones. Do that for my daughters. Bring them, even their mother. And purify us in the blood of Jesus Christ. And fill us with the Holy Spirit. And crush the mouths of dogs who seek to blaspheme Jesus. Chasten them. Teach them your fear. To repent. We don't want them to be destroyed. Save Muslims from Islam. And bring us to the fullness of the truth. We thank you, Father. Give us the health we need. Help me to <clears throat> stay healthy. And use my health to glorify Jesus. And not for vanity. Give us perfect self-control, self-restraint, self-constraint, self-discipline. And control our passions that we're not controlled by them. And to crush Satan under our feet by the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the cross. And Father, strengthen our <clears throat> throats, our hearts, our lungs, our chest and arteries with the health we need. And make our voice powerful and pleasing to the ears of your children. And may Jesus increase in us, in our loved ones, in my daughters. May we decrease that Jesus will shine and we will disappear. We want the Lord Jesus to be glorified and to be made famous. You don't need us. We need you. And it's an honor that you would work for us. So we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus Almighty. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are the teacher. Take over in Jesus' name. Lord, to the Apostle Spirit. Okay, so we're waiting. I don't know what the topic is. I have no idea. Oh, why do Muslims reject the prophets? Hmm. Interesting. See, I don't know. I just came here, so I didn't even know this is the topic. So, anyway, for you guys who think wearing a Bruce Lee shirt is idolatry, well, here, in your face. What's up, Protestant believer? You're always protesting. It's God, logic. It's God. I may have to also say hi to Muhammad, la, la toilette. What's up, truth? It's all about the truth, not but the truth. 
Why is in this camera, my beard makes me look old, but here at my, the camera, not too bad today, you know. It's God logic. It's God logic. Guys, I'm just waiting for him. He's going to he's gonna be uh, leading this. It's God. What's up, my ninja? Oh, no, I ain't your ninja. I am Bruce is loose. What's up, Chris? Chris. That's right, Chris. Yes, yes, yes. There's so many Chris's in my mind. All right? Chris Claus. Lord Jesus, bless you in your ministry. I almost forgot the brother's last name because I think of Chris Tucker, Chris the Salad, that demonized loon of Satan. May the Lord rebuke him. Chris Claus. How can I forget Chris Claus, the abandoned son of Santa Claus? <laughs> Get it? It's Chris Claus, the abandoned son, the rejected son of Santa Claus, because Santa Claus disowned him. Yeah. Animal, are you listening? For the jerkins, jerkins. Yeah, that was something my daughters used to laugh at. The jerkins, jerkins. Are you listening? Are you listening? You are one gorgeous ball to serve me. Pray for me, guys. Tomorrow's my cheat day. Pray God give me self control over those cheat days and exercise more intensely, burn more calories, and be holy unto the Lord. Because, you know. God set me free from obesity. May I stay pure and holy for the glory of Christ. That's always a problem with me. Want to see? Are you listening? Are you listening? No, I'm not going to expose this time, Eminem. I'm going to expose Hare Krishna. The guy won't stop with, hey, will you expose Islam? Expose Islam? No, we're going to expose Hare Krishna, Eminem. Hey, Mods, can you send M.M. to Snickers? M&M, complaining. Send him some Reese's. Are you laughing? Hey, how are I can't do that little one. But <clears throat> me, 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 me. Or strength in our throat, would you mind anything? It's now or never. Oh, we are. You whisper. My darling. Hey, Sam, face. I'm doing what your mama is known to do. Yap her mouth. <laughs> your mama's so fat, she got in the scale. It said to be continued. <laughs> your mama's so fat, she wears combat boots. You remember those jokes? Hell yeah. All your mama jokes, man. All right, y'all. I'm back. I'm sorry that I had to put y'all through that. Sorry I had to put y'all through that. All right. So, guys, you're going to have to bear with me. Bear with me. Because of the connection, if it's glitching or anything like this, um, I have to like connect my desktop to with my um, my internet box, and I got to buy a cord in order to do that. So, um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to. You guys got to bear with me, all right? So it's gonna go in and out. The audio is always going to be good, but the visual might cut and do whatever. But um, the Lord is with us. Pray that we have a good stream and we'll be good, okay? See, someone said Kenneth. Kenneth means dog. See that? Oh, Kenneth, yeah. Oh, that it's Kenneth. Mm -hmm. So, Kenneth, so if yeah. he wants me to be your dog, and like I said, please don't give them no thumbnails. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody <laughs> help me. By Allah, I rebuke you. All right. So, guys, here's what we're going to do, okay? And I think Sam might like this topic, Okay. We're going to ask this question, Sam, because we asked them where the Quran is mentioned in the Bible. That was a little too hard for them. Yes. We asked them, could they prove to us that Jesus was a Muslim? That also seemed to be too difficult. Mm. Maybe this might be easier. Maybe this one might do it. Okay. We're going to ask where in, where in, wherever, I don't care where. Okay. Where does Jesus mention the coming of Ahmed? Come on. That, that might be easier to prove. What do you think? But when you say whatever, well, they're going to say the Quran, obviously. You mean the Bible. The yeah, well, yeah, because the Quran is making the claim. So they can't use the Quran to prove the, Ahmed, the Quran. Right? Say. Yep. Ahmed. So chapter 61, verse 6, it says this, you guys. You guys know the verse. It says that Jesus came confirming the Torah that came before him and came with good news 
of a messenger to come after him named Ahmed. Named Ahmed. So, <clears throat> our question, and what we want to know, is where did Jesus say this? Where does Jesus predict the coming of somebody named Ahmed? That's all we want to know, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this started. Get uh, this party started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are welcome to join whenever you want. You're welcome to join. Muslims only. All right. We're, we're cooking. We're getting it started. Hey, good looking. All right. So oh, we got Somali you? boy. Let's see. Hold on. All right. Make sure this is I'll legit. follow your lead, mister. All right, man. That's that's a good start. That's a good start. You're going to have to make someone a co-mod or something in case they jump on. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they got that. They're ready. They're ready for that. How you doing? I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Are you a Muslim? Yes, brother. All right. Welcome, man. Welcome. Oh, he even called you brother. Yeah, he called me brother. brother. Yeah, that's, you know, already going to this long. Thank you. So, so the question, my friend, the question, my friend, is where does Jesus mention Ahmed? Because the Quran says that he that he does. You're, you're aware of this verse, right? Exactly. What did he say? Uh, he said the gospel. But, but your sound sounds a little muffled. The gospel, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I can't. terrible, mister. Yeah. Are you using headphones or anything? Yeah. Yeah, try to take the headphones out if you can. The gospel. Okay. Right? Let me guess. Gospel John. We'll, we'll see if you're a prophet. Yesterday, you, yesterday, yesterday you said Yesterday, she falsified me. Mm -hmm. Who was that? That was, yeah, yeah, was the, yeah, the young lady, the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, your mic is terrible, sir. It sounds like you're saying Quran. You, when you first came on, you sounded good. I don't know what you did. Is it good now? Uh, Look at no. this guy. You're going to ask the Lord to rebuke a lady upstairs for walking loud with her shoes? Are you like sick, Sambo Sam? <laughs> Are you got like mental issues? Good. Uh, let me see. Keep say, you know, uh, say the Shahada and let's see if the sound is good. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's much better. That's much, much better. Okay. All right. So, so your was where did uh, Jesus say that Muhammad is coming? Ahmed, Ahmed, yeah. Ahmed. Yeah, Ahmed says it's not another name of Muhammad, yeah. What's the proof? Sure, you said that where did Jesus say, right? No, but hold on, Somali, before you get to the Bible, I want you to prove from the no. Quran that Ahmed is Muhammad. No. They're the same no, person. No, no, no. I, I am answering the question. You said that. Okay, but where... buddy, hold on, sir. Can you calm down? You want to listen and have a conversation, or you just want to preach khutbah? You said Ahmed and Muhammad are the same. No, they're not. The Quran doesn't say Ahmed is Muhammad. I think so that that's I... your first mistake. <laughs> okay, now get to your point with the gospel. I'm going to hold it for you so you can get Bible verses. Yeah. Okay, my question is my answer is that uh, Jesus, we believe that Jesus mentioned in the, in the Gospels that Muhammad will come. Okay. Where? Where? In the Gospels. Yeah, okay. Where the, in the Gospels? Where? That the Gospel that Jesus received from God and preach. Where? Can, can we get a, a chapter and a verse? In the Gospels. Do you have the Gospel? Yeah, can you give us a chapter and verse yes, in this gospel? Yeah, now he's going to say your Bible's corrupt. Uh, yes, your Quran says the gospel of Jesus is preserved perfectly. Don't change the subject. So show us where in our gospels is your Ahmed. Do you have the gospel now? Uh, let me repeat it again. Your Quran, which you believe. You have, no. Okay, stop, stop manifesting. Somali, do you want to go kiss the black stone because you're not listening? According to chapter 5 of your Quran, 4647, you want to change the subject because I know you're scared. It says the gospel of Jesus is there with the Christians at the time of your fake prophet. And he confirmed it to be true. And historically, we know what they had. Because Ibn Ishaq, listen, pretend you're listening more than you recite Quran, which is why we can't understand you. Ibn Ishaq stated that the gospel is the gospel of John that John wrote down for the followers of the gospel. This is in Sirat Rasulullah. So now stop your game. Show us in the gospel where Jesus predicted Ahmed. Bro, you, you have confused something. In Surah Al-Baqarah, 
It says it's ten. Yeah, don't change the subject. 279 no. does not say the Bible's corrupt. No. That's in you your sick so. mind. Okay. It, it, Where so. in the gospel do you find your pedophile prophet? I'm oh, sorry. You. Where do you find the PDF prophet? I will show you. you. Prophesied. Okay, one more time. Where in the gospel? No. First, do you have the gospel of Jesus or you have the gospel of John? Yeah, so, so somebody gospel of John, he said gospel of John. Okay, John. The gospel right, of John. Yeah. You have the gospel of John or you okay. have the gospel of John? Where in the gospel did Jesus predict the PDF file, Muhammad? In the gospel of Jesus, not the gospel of John. Yeah, yeah so, all right, so, so here, here it is again, Somali boy. Look, you're saying the gospel. I, like Sam's done with you. I, I'll, I'll give you. I'll, I'm gonna give you one last chance. Sam, Sam's done with you. I'll give you one last chance. If you say it's not the gospel that we have, fine. Can you can you produce to me this gospel that you're saying Jesus mentioned Ahmed in it? I want to see it. I need a chapter. I need a verse of this gospel that you're talking about. I don't have, but the Quran you don't have it? We don't have it, man. Uh, oh, hold on, Somali. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to be so patient. Uh, Wait, hold on. Chapter 7, 157, Quran say you are a liar. You're a liar. Listen, Either the, the PDF prophet is liar or you're a liar. Can you show him 7, 157? You're a liar. You're a son of Muta. Here, 7, 157. 7, 157 says you're a liar. Like you're Allah. 7, 157. You're a liar, man. You're a liar, pants on fire. Come on. Liar, pants on fire. Don't I, scream like I, Aisha. What is it saying? Who wrote the gospel of John? I, 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 I got you right here, Somali. So, it's, so it says here, you got to take care, okay? Uh, it says, take, take, care, take care of yourself, man. Uh, the ones who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, who they find written in the Torah and the gospel with them. Wait, wait, what's with them? The Torah and the gospel. And that Torah gospel that's with them that's with has them. that prophecy? Has that prophecy, yes. And historically, we know what that Torah gospel is? Absolutely. Because we have it with us today? Yes. Oh, but can I do it? Because, guys, for the record, I grew up among South Asian people in Do, Pakistan, and Rogers Park, Chicago. So I have a lot of good friends, so they know they don't take it personally. You're a liar, man. You're a liar. Parents fire, okay. man. Okay. Who's next? But so, but let's, let's address one, or at least acknowledge one thing, Sam, before we move on, is... I granted him, like, okay, not the, not the, not the gospel, John. Like, okay, whatever gospel you're talking about, can you show what? What is this gospel? Can you produce it and show me the book, chapter, and verse where Jesus says Ahmed is coming? And he said, I don't have it. I don't have it. So if you don't have it, how do you even know that Jesus said that? How can you verify what your Quran is saying? And it's a joke. And none of that, the Quran is using it to, to confirm to the Christians exactly. to follow Muhammad. Well, how can Christians follow Muhammad if they don't have the gospel that prophesied is coming? So he just buried the PDF prophet. You're a liar, man. Why are you like this, man? You're a liar. You're a liar. I got to shave, man. You're a liar. Who's next? All right. So that was round one, man. Hopefully you guys can do better than that. That's round Ooh, one. Sh PDF one let's, let's, let's see what we uh Let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. All right. Muslim servant. All right. Let's do it, sir. Muslim servant. Come on up. Please don't be liar. So I can hold it? Yeah, if you want. I can, yeah. Romeo, come on, come on. How you doing, Muslim servant? So I'm a really anchor. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, man. Thank you. Pretty good. So we're, we're asking the question, my friend. Uh, there's a verse in the Quran, chapter 61, verse 6. It says that Jesus mentioned uh, a messenger named Ahmed to come after him. So we're asking... If a Muslim can show us where Jesus said this. Yeah, the background says, why do Muslims reject the prophet? So you're kind of deflecting from your own topic. Well, no, that's just a background, bro. It's just for decoration. I just oh, look. Don't, yeah, don't run like Aisha. Get to the question. Sam, why you look like Jack Okay, Ross? can you can you come out? You're a liar, man. Right? Are you are you here for a prophet? Are you, are, you, are you here for are you here for the talk my, or what, man? You hurt my feeling, man. I like Aisha play with dogs, man. Get to the question, answer. Where is Jesus prophesying the PDF prophet in the gospel? I don't believe Jesus did that. Oh, so he did. So the Quran is a lie. Oh, wow. 61 verse no, 6. No, the Quran is not a lie. Sam. The, cur the, Quran, yeah, the, Quran, the Quran says lie. it. Can you read yeah, it? I mean, yeah, the Quran. Thank you, guys. He's <laughs> this uh, fellow Muhammadan stone kisser just said Muhammad is a liar. Because uh, 61 6. Can you read it for yep. our vegan friend? Yep, I got you. Yeah. Right. Hey, you can you can yell like Aisha. It's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. 
tech and everything is uh, show her man we're like this man 61 6. Uh, yeah. He said, I don't believe she said it. She just said Say it. Doesn't believe it. Man, why like this? So, liar, so here it is, guys. Here it is. It says, and when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am truly Allah's messenger to you, confirming the Torah, which came before me, and giving good news of a messenger named Ahmed to come after me. That's what 61.6 says. Okay, show us where Jesus said in the gospel. He's gone. He ran away. Either he ran or he uh, got well, dropped. No, I think he like probably him. got dropped. It was next. Which is good enough. It was next. Guys. All right, guys. Man, listen. Oh, so, you know, no no trolls, man. Yeah, we can, we can have a good conversation. If you want to respect yourself and your religion, <clears throat> don't attack and mock because then you're going to give us an opportunity to then mock you. Follow what your own Quran says. Yeah. So let's All go. right, let's see here. All right, we got an air name here. All right. Hopefully. Well, why are you guys doing in this guy? They're insulting the prophet. Why are you guys doing this guy? They have no sense here. Yeah, okay. You want to get they to just the point? Said to me, this is a career for them. It sounds like it's a report. Don't join, don't join. Can you hear us? Hello, hello. Oh, sounds like a recording. All right. It looks like it sounded like he was recording a room Man, guys, of Muslims on, saying, "Why would you join our rooms?" That's what it sounded like. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's what it was all the yeah, That's Muslims why they're joining our rooms. Yeah. All right, that's so. what it sounded like. And then if they can't handle this, maybe we can uh, say maybe. do a challenge. Hey, why does Jesus uh, claim to? Uh, why does Jesus speak as if he's your Allah? Mm -hmm. You know, because with the title. That'll be good. We can do that one. Then that too. So, so look, so look, guys. Um, if you are if you are a Christian. Or if you are a non-Muslim, I need you to withdraw your requests, okay? If you are a Christian or a non-Muslim, please withdraw your requests. I'm only allowing Muslims to come up to engage, okay? So I shouldn't be seeing any crosses. I shouldn't be seeing any, you know, none of that, okay? I'm looking at y'all's bios. I see your profile pictures. So I hope you guys hear me. I am only allowing not uh, I'm only allowing Muslims to come up. All right. So if you are a Muslim, you can come up. So for the people that's here, I'm assuming that you heard what I said and that you are Muslim. That's right. All right. Come on, prove us wrong. Come on, man. Okay, he's confused. Maybe he's uh because he's reciting too much crime. Look, let's see, go ahead. A, a Christian just requested. Uh, they don't listen. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, let's see. That guy, see, where's that Bella? The one that came. Yeah. <laughs> she might come later. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you guys? Pretty good. Are you a Muslim? Conf confused. Yeah, but I can't hear him because the kids coming in the back. Is, is it possible you could get somewhere quieter? Can you hear me? Barely. Right, yes. Where did Jesus predict Muhammad? Ah. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So, guys, make sure that when you guys come up, that your connection is good, man. Like, seriously. Pip Baxter, stop manifesting, Pip Baxter, because we're going to send you to Mecca and the Shia are looking for you. And your mommy. Shut up, Pip Baxter. <coughs> Sit down, little girl. <laughs> All right, let's see who's next, man. Let's see who's next. I see a lot of people talking in the in the, Come in the on chat, now. man. Come on, man. Come on, show where Jesus predicted Muhammad Ahmed, whom you think is Muhammad. Ahmed. Don't let the ah, Muslims get away with it. Make sure they prove from the Quran Ahmed is Muhammad, but that's another story. Hey, what's up, yo? Yo. I just want to say I love Jesus. That's all. I love Jesus. Christians, right. you are my favorite. God logic. I just want to greet you, bro. Thank you, brother. Okay, I appreciate buddy. you. Appreciate you, sir. Thanks, bro. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah. Right, anyway, come on, Muslims. Well, I'm about to fall asleep. It's God logic. Confuse us back. Does he want to try? It sounded like he's a Muslim. Can you hear me? He probably was a Muslim, probably playing games. Oh, he's playing games. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Why like this man? 
right. Most of them's not showing up today. They're scared, man. I can tell these guys are scared, bro. Why are you scared, man? Why are you scared like this? It was yesterday, man. You scared him off, man. I don't know, man. I think the girls did. We should not have started with that question. Man, you did it. Okay. Hello? Hi. Jinx. What happened? Can you hear me? You know me sort of. Yes, can you hear us? Yes, of course. Perfect, perfect. How are you? Good, and you? Good, good. Are you a Muslim? Um, no. Oh, this is for Muslims, my friend. Oh, boy. You Christians, do you understand instructions? Yeah. Christians, you understand instructions? Uh, are you disrespecting? Don't even, don't even know if he was a Christian. Right? Yeah. He just probably like chose to be doing that. That. Does, that doesn't look like she's a Muslim. Right? Right, let's do this. I think Sultan is. Uh, what's going on, Sultan? Come on up. Hello. How are you guys? Pretty good. Can you hear us? All right, mister. What's going on? We're, we're asking the question based off of chapter 61, verse 6, uh, where mm -hmm. it says that Jesus mentioned a messenger named Ahmed to come after him. So we're asking, where did Jesus ever say this? Well, Jesus said that uh, in, uh, uh, in the Bible, he said that in the Last Supper when he was talking to the disciples. The what? At the Last Supper. Oh, yeah, he did. Huh? Interesting. What did he say there? Can you educate us? We don't know the Bible. Yeah, of course. Uh, I can. No, no problem. Anytime. Sure. Okay, where? I'm willing, I'm willing to enlighten you guys anytime. Okay, we'll get, so, oh, that's uh, Alice Shemur, dude. All right. So, so he says when he came, supposedly after the crucifixion, he came through the door. They were gathered for prayed, yeah. and that they hey, were buddy, thinking he's a uh, spirit. Buddy, uh, yeah. Number one, that's not the Last Supper, by the way. You just confused two contexts. The Last Supper is the night of his betrayal when he was killed. You're not talking about his resurrection appearance. So, where did he mention Muhammad? Please give us the verse. That that's the time he mentioned it to him. Okay, so he, he said, us. "Fear me not. I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For okay, the now spirit of truth." Thursday. Hold on, Sultan. Because and he will lead lead Sultan, hold on, truth. hold on, Sultan, and calm down, Sultan, Muhammad. Sultan, wait, don't don't yell at me. Don't cut can me if I you want address to your point? Stop you reciting. You want to respect me? You talk. Sultan, if you don't... hold on, Mister. Because you think the Bible's the Quran, that's why you're confused. John 16 is not after the resurrection, and when he appeared, this is before his death. So get your facts straight. That's but not go ahead. true. That's not true. That's not true. It was after the after the crucifixion. How much you are, if, if I show you you're lying, then you're going to get baptized oh, and say Muhammad hey, is in hell? What does it mean? A-L-L. All so disciples. Muhammad is in hell? Were you going to say that? They, they, were, they were afraid. Okay, yeah, they yeah. were hiding. Okay, give me the room. verse. The guy is a special came, penis, you know? And he said to them, Salaamu Alaikum. This guy is so stupid, and he makes Muhammad look intelligent. Uh, oh, go ahead. Shut up, you piggy. Go ahead. Talk nice with respect when you talk to the West. I can't catch this idea. That's it, that's it. So, Sultan, uh, we need the verse that mentions Muhammad, where Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him. If you could just do that for yeah, us. Go ahead. We'll see. I'm giving you a chance. So. Go ahead, buddy. It's just here. Well, it's still in Hebrew Bibles. You guys took it out. You say the most, okay, now we the, the out, spirit yeah. of truth. I got you. Guys you. I, I got say you. The spirit of truth. I got you. I got you. So, so, Sultan, are, are you saying. Sultan, it's the prophet so, Sultan, are, 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 are you, are you Sultan, hello, so listen, are you, are you, you're, you're just a bot, you're just a bot, he's a bot, huh? he's, just, he's just a robot, uh, thank you Sultan, get out of here man, make sure so when that time. black stone kisses you, you don't kiss it back, <laughs> he's so confused, he thinks the Bible's like the crown, that's why it's a mishmash for him, he first says after he appeared to them, when the doors are locked, that's after his resurrection, but then he says the last supper, and then he misquotes Luke 24 because that's not where he mentions spirit of truth. But I know you think the Bible is like the Quran. It's mishmash your Quran. But anyway, who's next? Come on, guys. Uh, we got, uh, let's see. I need my brothers here. Hey, guys, make sure you guys are ready. Black Doctor or King Sil, make sure you guys are ready to um, do the co host thing. Just be, just be ready. Okay. These guys, all right. Okay, come on, Muslims. Show us where, man. Do I have to make your case for you? Goodness gracious. No, 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 they're scared today, bro. You no. scared them off, man. I think that was you. I Maybe. Think, I think it's you, man. Maybe you think they, so? They're, really, they're like, uh, confused. Is he back? Is that him or is he just confused? I don't think I don't think any Muslims said they're scared, people. Oh, no, they're all over the place. 
Man, they're scary. So for some reason, though, what? for some reason, I'm seeing a lot of Christians requesting. Why don't you, uh, Christians? I'm gonna say this. Man. I'm gonna say this again. I block all of you. <laughs> for hey, real. Man, I swear I would. For I'm real. Not for disrespect. Christian, if you are a Christian, withdraw your request. If you are a Christian, withdraw your request. Yeah, Christians. He's a nice guy. If it was me, I would have blocked you for being disrespectful. As Christians, you're supposed to respect your brother's rules. But again, that's why I would have to send you packing. All right. So he's next. Maybe most. Yeah. What's up? Uh, is it Ilias? So he can't be a Muslim. His name is Ilias. All right. You there? Elias, you there? All right, man. <laughs> What's up today, dude? <laughs> You're scared, man. Oh, uh, Lord have mercy. Okay, now nah, just uh -huh. here we go. That's a Muslim? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like one of the women, right? Yep. Uh oh. Muhammad's prophecy going to be fulfilled. We'll see. All right. Hello? Yeah, what's up? What's Hi. up? Oh, my question. I'm not trying to be here for long. I just have a question. Okay. Like, are you guys Christians? No, I'm I'm Hindu. He's Buddhist. Okay, I just want to know, like, I thought you guys were Christians. No, no, he's Buddhist. Know... I'm Hindu. Okay, I just want to know, like, why um Christians and Buddhists or whatever other religions that are not Muslims, like, why you guys always attack us? And, like, you you know? mean, hold on. The Quran comes and says that the disbelieving Jews and Christians and idolaters are the worst of all creatures. Chapter 98, verse 6. The Quran no, 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 says, no, no, no. can I, I answer your question? Not, because Muhammad said you're question. stupid. So can I answer your question? Don't talk about our prophet. Can I answer your question? Because Muhammad Don't said you're you. stupid. And that said Bukhari. So let me know. What happened, Sheila? Sheila. All right. So, yeah, you're, you're Buddhist, right? I'm Hindu. Yes. Okay. I think you kind of switched it, but All right, let's get Aisha here. Aisha may be, oh, kidding me? may do better. Muhammad said, I didn't say women are stupid. Muhammad said, it. Muhammad so if you Muslims said, get angry, you're getting reduced, angry. Reduced in mind. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Are we Christian? <laughs> no, I'm Hindu, he's Buddhist. Oh my goodness, the questions that I go. <laughs> All right, Danny, who's next? What happened, Aisha? Somebody named AFG is. Less than Omar or greater than Omar? I don't know. Is it Omar or AFG? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You trying to get a ban, huh? What was that? It was a Muslim kid trying to say cuss words to try to get the last. Oh, he's reciting Quran. Oh, he's reciting. Yeah, reciting like, Quran. Like an uh, ex Muhammad ex Muslim says, uh, peace be upon you. Why in the world? Is Sunday Quran Sunday Sunday. world is Sultan trying to request again? Is that, which one? Is That's that? the one that we was just talking to. Oh. It's just a robot. Oh, the guy that was uh, barking the uh, Quran verses? Yeah. All right. So let's see here. What's up, Malik? Yo, 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 what's up? Man, you might be the best guest we, we've gotten you so sure? far, man. You sure? Uh, not not in, in, is in honesty, but oh, as okay. far as at least oh, good mind, the but he's going to try to engage. Oh, okay, okay. So he'll, he'll, he'll try, man. Yeah, man, what's up, what's up? Now, all right, so we're, we're asking about chapter 61, verse 6 of the Quran. It says, so, uh, say again? chapter 61, verse 6. Uh, it says that Jesus uh, brought good news of a messenger to come after him named Ahmed. So we're asking, where does Jesus say this? Where does Jesus say that uh, uh, somebody named Ahmed will come after him? Well, in the Bible. Uh, yes. Uh, Ahmed, I don't know. Um uh, the closest thing is the about the comforter. Okay. Okay. All right. We can work with that. You know, I I, I think we could be gracious. We yeah, won't yeah, hold it to the exact show, yeah. You think that's Muhammad, huh? Yeah. I Why? mean. Why do you think it's Muhammad? Why? Have you read the verses? Why? Yeah. John 14, 15, okay, 16. Can you read it for us? All right. We'll, go, we'll start uh, with John 14. Okay. Okay. You have it? I want you to read it carefully because you just proved Jesus is Muhammad's God. But go ahead. 
No, I didn't prove that. Well, well, yeah, can you read it, down. Malik, instead of argument? Just can you read the verse, John 14? Uh, wait, what verse is it again? Okay, so if you have your Bible, you want to start at John 14, 16 to 17. So read it for us because you're going to end up proving Father and Son are Muhammad's God. But just, you'll see. Let me just look. Uh, I don't think, I, I don't oh, think. Can I'll you open it and read it instead of debating? You haven't yeah, answered no, the verses. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Okay, um, good. But I want to see because I want him to read so he can see it for himself. Okay. All right. It was again John 14. 14 start at 16 and 17. <clears throat> 16. Uh, I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him or knows him. But you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. Okay, now, um, Malik, that's 17. I want you to read carefully because yeah. you read too fast. Okay, it says, you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you. Did mm. you see that part 17? You know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you, right? 17, read it. Don't tell me you don't see it. It's yeah, right there. Right? The world cannot accept him because he neither sees him nor knows him. For, but you know him for he dwells yeah. with you, right? No, for he lives with you. Oh, even better. I mean, don't don't play these stupid games. Lives with you. No, so Muhammad lives with them? Game. That's what it says. Was Muhammad living with them? This is talking about his teaching, sir. No, it doesn't. It says he. He lives with you. So Muhammad was living with them? Yeah, he, no, his teachings yeah, no. is living with us. No, it doesn't say his teachings. Let's try it again. It says it's he not physically lives with you. Yeah, it's not physically living. It's talking about. I didn't care life. how you define it. Was Muhammad living with them? Was Muhammad with living with them? With you, the disciples. Because are you reading it? No. You know, for he lives with you, so he was there with the disciples. So Muhammad was there. He was the thirteenth apostle. He went fishing no, with Peter at night. The... He's projecting. He's Wait, did he go fishing with Peter? No, listen, he's, listen, I'll give you another verse. Wait, give me a no, minute. No, 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 don't run. Wait, no, no, no. Malik, I'm going to bounce you if you don't listen. You mentioned this. You're stuck with it, so you didn't answer the question. No, Was no, no, Muhammad there's a, there's living a, with them a, at that time? I got a better verse than this. Okay, answer the question. Was Muhammad living with them at that time? With the disciples? Okay, did you read verse 17 or do you want me to repeat it 10 more times? Yeah, I just read it. Okay, for he lives with you about and world, shall be in you. It. Okay, Malik, I know you think. Yeah, but it's, it says the world cannot accept it. Yes, because the world does not see the spirit. And because by rejecting Jesus, they rejected the spirit. But don't run. It says, you know him. He lives with you. So was Muhammad going fishing with Peter at that time? How did the disciples know him and how did he live with them? Because Since, he already told them about him. No, he says he lives with you. He is with you. But he's not like physically living. I don't he's care how you define it. You still didn't when, answer me. Was Jesus Muhammad said, there? Listen, when Jesus says the father lives in me and I live in him. Okay, that buries you because Allah is not the not father. Physically. Don't change the subject. It Was it Muhammad it there? He wasn't physically there. No. Okay, so Why he was there spiritually. Physical? So Muhammad's spirit was there. So you believe in Muhammad's pre human oh. existence? <laughs> listen. <laughs> okay, listen, second. Don't try that, man. Okay, me, Malik, before you move me, on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just pull up okay, another verse. Now, is Allah the Father? Because in 16, Jesus said, I'll ask the Father. So Allah's the Father? No, Allah is not a, a Father. But it's read 16 again. Because read 16 hold again. On, hold on. Read 16, 16. again. Yeah. And I will ask the father. Yeah, you just buried the Quran. Malik, you yeah, just no, said no, Allah is not the father. father. Malik, no listen more nothing. than you recite Quran. Can I listen. Speak? Can, can I you speak? listen to my objection so you can answer? Yeah, but you everyone speak heard you speak. say Allah is not the father. You just buried your Quran because this no, is not I'm Muhammad. saying no, I'm saying no one can call father uh, Allah father right now. Today's age, no one can call him. Okay, so Back that means then, Muhammad is a liar and an antichrist. Listen, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Back then. Back then, Jesus you and you, know, you could say that they called him father. Okay. You just said you. I was not the father, but Jesus Listen. said the father will send the spirit of truth. So that means Muhammad cannot be the spirit Listen, of truth. He's an antichrist and hell. 
we're not the sons and daughters of God, okay? No, Jesus said we are. That's why Muhammad is an antichrist. Yeah, it's, it's, don't you know abrogation like... No, we don't abrogate an essential <laughs> characteristic of who God is. I can show you from your, your Bible about You want to go recite Quran? Because you're, you're all over the map. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I can show you a Bible. He, he's better because he's at least a year. This is their best? Listen, listen. Yeah. Zachary Naik want to be? Okay, what's the other verse I can Zachary. use at the very Muhammad? Go ahead. What's the other listen, verse? You you get buried by uh what's go to the other verse i can Sheikh use it to do janaz on muhammad you get, you get buried by sheikh Uthman, man okay can you go to the other verse i'm, I'm trying to see I'm, let me speak can you You've go been... to the other verse yeah stone liquor go to the other verse <laughs> really really you don't you, you don't kiss the stone like your prophet did the black uh, stone don't want you, a man worship, you, you want to get man. blocked or do you want to go to the other verse so i can do janazah on pedophile prophet the Lord. i'm sorry PDF. Oh, there you go there you go you're gonna have to talk like that okay there can you go, go to the Stanford. verse are we gonna engage in talking or not? can you go to the verse aisha stop playing with dolls what can you verse? go to the verse, verse? go the what other verse? verse what's the other verse, what verse? The other verse that you that you wanted to go to. You said you had a better one. That's going to be Jazz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, a, give, me a, give me a second. Give me a second. One, one thousand, two, two thousand, three. These guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want to preach and recite Quran. How you doing, Yara? Yeah, I'm chilling, man. I'm, I'm chilling, chilling like a villain. I'm bro. entertained. What's up, bro, man? You're blowing up 10,000. You're going to be up. Uh, 10,000? No, I mean, no. You can't, you can't, you can't see. No, that's what I'm saying. It's going to happen. All right, come on. Okay. He's got a better verse, guys. Where am I see? Now let's see what the better verse is. These guys want to preach and pontificate. No, we're not your dummies. Get to the point. Man, why like this? You're so much problem, man. What happened here, man? Oh man, someone sent you nice, nice. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, is this how Jesus told you uh, to? What is it? Yeah. No. Well, your prophet taught me to <coughs> go Listen, around, don't violate don't women and mount them. Okay. So get to the verse. You get peppered. You get, get to the verse. Seasoned by Sheikh Uthman. Malik, Malik. Get to the verse Malik, before Malik, I do. Malik, 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 this guy's been insulting, man. Malik, Malik. So, so let's 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 refresh. Okay? Yeah, let's I'm refresh. I'm finding it. Yeah. yeah uh, let's, if you... let's, get, let's get the verse. Let's be chill. Yeah, let's get the verse. Man, you get another one. You got two of them. Listen. Can Malik. you get to the verse before I show you how pro your prophet insulted people yeah. and hold cursed on. an orphan girl? Hold on, hold on, Sam. Hold on, calm down. I won't calm down, but I'm just waiting. Ah, okay. Don't run away like you run yeah, away. No, from I, I'm not gonna run like Aisha did. Yeah, yeah I, I, I won't let him run. I won't let him run. I'm, I'm not gonna run yeah. like Aisha did in her I'm, panties when she's playing with dolls. Worry. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna run okay, like Aisha okay. when your okay. dog mounted. Okay, that's cool. Good. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, uh, if you go to John 16 verse seven. Oh, your burial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Read it for us. Watch your burial. Watch, he just did janaz on Muhammad. PDF file be upon him. Read it. What's going on? Guys, okay. this guy, very he's sweetie, the one. I tell you. This guy, this guy who's speak, barking man. Quran, watch out John 16 is not going to do janaz on speak, PDF yeah, file. Jahil. Read it. Let me speak, yeah, Jahil. Okay, okay. Good. Good. Yeah, Ibn Muta. Let's, let's let him make his point. Read it, go, Ibn go Muta. Do you think, read make it. your point with the verse? I know Ibn Muta as well. So. Ibn Muta, read it before Aisha comes with her dolls. Listen, and listen. Fancy. Read the Ibn verse. Ibn Muta. Read the speak. verse, ya coward. Okay, but very, very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. Now, I've got a question for you. Finish, Finish it, it, you coward. Finish, Finish the rest of it. Wasn't the Holy Spirit there? Finish it! Okay, but if I go, I will send him to you. Wait, who's going to send him? Who's going to send the helper? He's going to send him from the Father. Oh, so Jesus sent your dog, from Muhammad. Father, Good job. The Father will send him. Jesus sent your dog, Muhammad. I will send him. So if this Muhammad, he sent your dog. So Jesus is your prophet's master. You just did janazah on your prophet. 15, 26. I 14, want you to 26. say, Malik, to everyone, 15, 26. I bear witness... I bear witness no, that Jesus no, sent no, Muhammad. No, no, no. I bear witness Listen, that Jesus John sent Muhammad. 26, what does it say? Answer the question. Okay. What is Did you read John 16, 7? Yeah, Ibn Muta. John 14, 26 says, yeah, the Father saying, yeah. will send it. So, 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 so Malik, Malik. Don't, don't, don't Ma play around. Ma Malik, Malik. Don't around. Malik, so, so do you believe that Jesus sends Muhammad from the Father? I can't hear Listen. you when you're off the app. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Do you believe that Jesus sent Muhammad from the Father? 
According to John 14, 26, it says that the Father will right, send... That's, that's not... Look, okay, Malik, so, so yeah, he... The Father he, asked you guys. He, did he, he quote... Did I quote John 16, 7? He, he did. Okay. He, he definitely quoted School it. The thing. So, so you quoted the verses. You even brought up John 15, well, 26. Right now. So yeah, please, please, right no, here, the here's, the, here's the question to you, Malik. According to the verses that you brought up, who's the one that sends the comforter who you say is Muhammad? According to John 16, 7. You quote it. It says, um, the f whom I will send. Yeah, who, who's that? Who's sending him? Uh, Jesus. Beautiful. So do you believe yeah, that but... Jesus sent Muhammad? Yeah, but if you go to John well, just, 14, 26. I, 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 well, look, look, I, look, you know, look, hey, Malik, sending. Malik, you, uh, we, we gonna yeah, talk. We, we gonna chop it up. I, I get you. It's from the Father. So do you believe, exactly. do you believe that Jesus sent Muhammad from the Father. Do you believe that? Listen, Jesus wasn't the one that was sent. That's not, no, 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 no. According to the verses that you quoted, it says that Jesus is the one yeah, who, sends the, who sends the comforter from the Father. Do you believe that? It's a simple question, bro. Well, I'm, listen, what did I just quote, bro? You quoted John, John 15, 16, 15. 7 and John 15, 26 yeah, right now, and John 14, 16. So what we understand that, look, we understand that Jesus okay. sends the comforter from the Father, right? We understand that, right? Yeah, by asking permission, yeah. Okay, no worries. So Jesus sends the comforter from the Father. Do you believe that Jesus sent Muhammad from the Father? Yes or no, bro? No, the father sent Muhammad. So, so uh, it, it's simple, bro. If you can't answer this, man, I gotta move on. Like I, I'm, he gave up on you, but I still got hope in you, bro. Yeah, but you're not. I, I, John, I, I got 26. hope on you. What about John fifteen twenty six? I, I look. Okay. I, I, I like John fifteen twenty six. Now I'm gonna use John fifteen twenty six to further bury your fake prophecy. John, okay, no. Okay, John let 14, me deal with John. If you stop that. barking, I'll deal with John fifteen. And Zane, shut I'm your file, Zane. You're the one that boxed me. Now John fifteen twenty six. It says that the Spirit of Truth comes from the Father. So did Muhammad come from the Father? Is Allah the Father? I'm talking about John fourteen twenty six. Okay, even better. John fourteen twenty six. The Father sends. G, the, the, the comforter Spirit. in the name of Jesus. So did Allah send Muhammad in Jesus' name? And is Allah the Father, according to John 14, 26? Let me repeat it again. I know it's kind of slow for you. John 14, 26, it says, the Father will send the Holy Spirit, the comforter, in my name. So is Allah... It doesn't say holy. Okay, can you read? You yes, it does. Oh, it says Holy Spirit. It John doesn't 14, say holy. I looked into the earlier scripts, mate. Stop the cap. Can you stop barking, okay. Quran, or I'm going to bring my cat to start camel pee on your Quran? Your John 14, 26. Stop manifesting like that. Aisha. John 14, 26. Me. Okay. Here's the burial for Muhammad. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, do you believe Allah is the Father? Who sent Muhammad in the name of Jesus so that Muhammad came in Jesus' name? What happened? Listen, back then they used to call uh, God. Let me repeat my question again. Do so, you believe Allah the is the Father who sent Muhammad in Jesus' name so that Muhammad came in Jesus' name? Because that's what the verse says. I'm not saying Allah is a Father, but I'm saying that verse. It, the father sent it. So okay. Do you believe Allah is the father that sent Muhammad in Jesus' name? So is Allah the father? I'm not saying Allah is the father, but what I'm but saying But the is, verse you quoted says the father sends him. So if Allah is not the father, then Allah is not the true God. So let me repeat it again. Do you believe the verse that you just used that now will bear your prophet? Allah is the father and Muhammad came in Jesus' name. Did Muhammad come in Jesus' name? Can I speak? Can you answer and not do the tap dance? Okay, okay. Stop barking then. Well, I'm reciting Quran. That's why I'm barking. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Whatever. Go ahead, Jai. Yeah. Yeah, Namuta. Go ahead. Yeah, I know your mother is known in Iran. Go ahead. Kalem. Get to Shut the up. point, dude. You're a Kalem, man. Shut up. Let me speak. 
but I'm trying to all say right, is, all right, Malik, man, you got you got to take care, bro. Because you're, you're not able to to even have the conversation. Yeah. All right, Sal. Guys, thank him. He just performed Janaza on PDF Prophet. He just buried his own prophet because these verses show the true God is the Father, and He's sending in the name of Jesus, and Jesus sends the Spirit from the Father. So thank you, Malik, for using the verses to destroy the Quran. That's why you Muslims can only attack and mock and ridicule and threaten. Because the Bible is your nightmare. It proves Muhammad is an antichrist. Yep. All right. So, so guys, when you're coming up here, man, I mean, I, I, I know it's I know it's natural, but when you guys are coming up here, be aware of what you're quoting. Sam, yes. which one of us brought up John 16, 7? I didn't, he did. Which one of us brought up John 14? He did. Which one of us brought up John 15? He did. I didn't so, bring okay. any of them. so we didn't bring a single verse. We let him bring his the verses, let him bring the proofs, and we saw how it cooked him. Barbecue, you know? So, all right. Let's see. Uh, the next person didn't, didn't connect. Let's see the next one, man. Uma Prince. Uh, okay, that's a uh, umma. That means uh, umma. the ruler of the umma. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. Hopefully, he's gonna get to the point too. All right, we'll try and see, man. I'll see. I'm listening. I'm gonna kick back. Salam, I'ma see. Salam alaikum. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. So, uh, we're our question is coming from uh, the the question is coming from chapter sixty one verse six of the Quran. It says that mm -hmm. Jesus mentioned a messenger to come after him named Ahmed. So we're just asking who or where, I'm sorry, where does Jesus say this? Where does Jesus say that somebody named Ahmed is coming after him? In his Gospels. All right, beautiful. So we, I'm asking for the, the chapter and the verse where we can read where Jesus made that claim. Oh, you, you, you have Jesus' Gospels? So here we go. Ah, uh, uh, according to the Quran, we do. So do That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem, logic. Okay. You don't, you don't have the good news, which is the Injil that Got was it. given to Jesus. Okay. You don't have that. Okay. So, 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 how how do you know that it was in that it was in the gospel? How do you know that? Because the Quran confirms it. Ah, okay. And so, according to the Quran, where's the gospel? The gospel of Jesus, the Injil. Yeah. Where is it? The the Jews destroyed it. The Jews. <laughs> okay. Can you open up Surah Al Maidah? You want to read your Quran or are you going to run from the Quran? Surah Al Maida? Hold on a second. Can you open up Surah Al Maida? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. There we go. See, you have to change it to Bible corruption. See, that's what it is. They can't deal with the topic. Nope. Okay, when you open up Surah Al Maida, let me know. So I want to read them. I want to have them read 46 47. So this is what happens, Christians. They have to change the topic because they can't handle it. And they say your Bible's correct because they know our Bible shows Islam is false. See? But that's how you know you won. And you've destroyed Islam by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. All right. Are you there? Surah Al Maida? Yep. Um, okay. Can you read? Uh, which I read Ayah 46 and 47 slowly. Start at 46 and 47. No, you go ahead and read it. No, we, we, need, we need you to read it yourself so that you can see it, bro. No, I, I can read it, bro, in both languages. So I'm All right, so read it out for us, please. Read it out No, I want you to read it. I want to hear you read it. No, dude. Quit playing. All right, which, right, thanks for participating. I'm going to give you another chance. Yeah, it's either you begin to read or we go to the next guest. Which one is it? I need to. I need to know which interpretation you're reading from. Whatever, whatever, whatever Quran you want. Hops, we just, we just gave you the right to... to to read. I, I, I don't care. Uh, listen, uh, you, you read an interpretation of the Quran, so I need to know which interpretation you read. All right, so it, it's either this. Begin okay. to read. The next thing that comes out of your mouth, is, are you reading the verse or you're out of here? All right, thank you, guys. All right, take care of yourself. That's what we thought, yeah. Coward. Remember, they can't all be as brave as Aisha, right? No, they can't. Yeah. All right, Aziz. Let's see, guys. Hey guys, I just have a quick question for you guys. That's it. It's, I don't right. argue nothing. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just right. so there's there is no there is no quick question, my friend. We okay, have a specific yeah. question and a topic that's being addressed. So if you're not willing to address the topic, then you gotta go. Okay, yeah, I, I no, it's just something that I've been talking about. I have a friend Ali. She she goes to Bible study. Me and her have been talking recently. What? See what? Um, like she, she just, uh, she, she was just saved, and you know we've been talking last few months about her journey, right? My friend Ali, right? My friend of his, she's a Christian, Christian, and we've just been talking. I just had one thing that I just, I don't know if maybe you guys could like, you know, like just clarify for me. That's it. 
She's in the comments right now too, but I just want to know if it's something. Uh, this is a question I had. If you could clarify for me. We'll see. Go ahead. Yeah, he's gonna change something. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 I. I it's um. Uh, Kings eight twenty six. Yeah. Okay. Where, yeah. You know the eight yeah, thing. It shows where Jesus said uh, a prophet's coming named Ahmed. Pardon? Show us where Jesus said in the gospel that there's a prophet coming named Ahmed. Okay, but can you clarify the the twenty two? Can you go and show us where Jesus said that so you there's a prophet question. coming named Ahmed? So you can't answer my question. No, I can bear your Quran and answering the question, but if you're not answering, we know so, you're scared. You're more scared than Aisha was. No, I'm not scared. I'm yeah, just yeah, asking you yeah. a question. That's what we thought. He wants to go to the Bible discrepancies. So you guys are doing bad today, man. And you're really helping us to humiliate Muhammad. This is Come on, this man. is tough. Man, Allah's gonna be angry at you when you see him in hell. This is Allah's tough. Allah's gonna be angry at you when you see him in hell next to Muhammad. My guys, man, guys, for real. I mean, Muslims, dude. There, there's there's twelve hundred people. Both there's twelve hundred people on YouTube. 1,200 people on TikTok, and this is what you guys are bringing us. Man, we're giving you guys an opportunity to, to defend the Quran, to show that it's true, to show that you guys can give answers. But why can't a single one of you guys give us an answer and aye, deal with the topic? Aye, aye, aye. Right. This is tough. We'll give them them, and then we can then challenge them, show, hey, how come Jesus speaks as Allah? As God. All right, right. yeah. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll take a couple more, man, and, and we'll, change we'll, we'll, we'll change it. Yeah. All right. So let's see here, man. Uh, if you are a Christian or a non-Muslim, please take away your request. I'm not bringing you up if you're a Christian or a non-Muslim. Oh, you Christians, you can't respect us. Yo, guys. What up? I just want to say one thing. Yeah, fuck. Are you? Are guys. you a Muslim? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, this is Islam. Don't, don't recite Quran and what the Shia say to your mother, dude. We're not interested <laughs> in what the Shia say to your mother doing muta. We don't care. That's between her and them. Don't recite Quran. Man, that's beautiful. Guys, this is Islam, man. Instead of hey, we're giving you so guys. That's a chance. all they can do. Cuss you out and try to kill that's you. That's it. Because their prophet is in hell under the feet of all Jesus. They they is, do all they could do is damn thing about it. All they could do is threaten. <laughs> Try to cuss, all kinds of stuff. All right, Quran clips for you. All right, so Quran clips for you. Oh, there we go. So should be a page that's legit. Yeah, let's see. Okay. That got Quran clips, Quran for answers. Okay, you right? Okay. okay all right. Oh, boy. This is it. I'm, this one is it. Yeah, yeah. You prophesying? No. <laughs> I, I'm not that bold yet. Quran clips. All right, Quran clips disconnects. All right, he'll come back. Okay, come on, Muslims. None of you could show that Muhammad is predicted by Jesus because supposedly the gospel is corrupt. And how do you know Muhammad is telling you the truth? And how is that evidence for Christians to believe Muhammad? Geniuses. <laughs> Geniuses. Adam. Is that a Muslim? Well, we're going to see. And I pack my bags, ready to go home. See you inside your door, and oh, and hold me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll never leave. Tell me that you'll never let me go. Leave it on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, and oh, oh. By the way, music is hot, brother. <laughs> what happened to this dude? All right, he's not connecting. I think he fell asleep, man. <laughs> these are all these but goodies, if I only knew. By the way, guys, we don't say LMFAO or LMAO. We don't use that. Come on, guys. What's going on? How you doing, Oz? Good, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, Muslim. All right, beautiful. All right, we got we got one question, my brother. Where did where, where did Jesus mention the coming of Ahmed? Where did where do we find this claim? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. But if you want to talk about general stuff, I can talk to you. But if can you answer asked, the no question? One. He says he doesn't know. I just told you oh, you don't know. Answer. Okay, okay, you don't know. That's fair. But you don't know either. What do you say? There's say that again. Things like I just told you. I don't know the answer to the question so you're asking. Why did you come up when you know that's a challenge? But if you want to talk about other things, we can talk. Oh, I mean, I can talk about Tawheed and why the Quran doesn't teach Tawheed. Are you sure you're up for All it? Right. Yeah, we, yeah, we can talk about Tawheed. Okay, so let me ask you a question. <clears throat> According to the Quran, who's the Ruh? 
the ruh. Uh, there's there's two ruhs. There's the, the soul and there's the spirit. No, the, the uh, term ruh is not soul. Let me correct like, your you're first gonna, mistake. You're gonna you're gonna answer a question. No, you because I'm gonna correct your mistake. The word oh, soul in Arabic is nafs. It's not ruh. So I'm gonna ask you again. There's According two, to the Quran, who's the ruh? Spirit and Gabriel. Brother, now, listen, okay, hold on, don't rush. Now I'm going to. Can you stop talking over me if you want to have a conversation? Okay. You shut up and I'll drop myself. Okay. So it's now, you, can you stop barking Quran so I can ask you the question? You, you want to have a conversation? Shut up. See? All right. Yeah, keep representing Muhammad who's in hell. Now, show me in the Quran where it says Gabriel is the spirit. Gabriel is the spirit because now I'm going to bury you with your Quran because you're have, having an attitude. Give us the verse where it says Gabriel is the spirit. He's on mute. I don't know if he knows that he's muted. You're muted, man. Come off the you can come off the mic. He left. Yeah. So okay, we want to talk about something here, right? All right, so go ahead. Okay. All right. And by the way, just for you Christians, be careful when they lie to you about Arabic. That's why if you don't know Arabic, ask an Arabic speaking Christian. Who knows? Like Rob Christian, our brother who was here earlier. The word for soul in Arabic is nafs. Nafs. Translation, N-A-F-S. It's not ruh. If they tell you the ruh is a soul, they're lying to you. So I'm going to call you Muslims. You're all liars. There's not a single verse in the Quran that says the ruh is your soul because the word for soul is nafs. Okay? That's number one. Number two, nowhere in the Quran does it say humans are spirits or have spirits. That's my challenge to you. So stop lying to people, okay? So don't let them lie to you. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Hi. Are you a Muslim? Excuse me, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you very, very well. Good. Are you, I'm actually I'm Greek Orthodox. I'm not Muslim. Oh, okay. so Greek Orthodox. You know, brother. You know, you're Christian, right? Yes, yeah, I'm Christian. Okay, so yeah, when totally. the Christian brother told you twenty times, don't come up and request. Why are you being disrespectful as a Christian? Um, I just wanted you know to point out okay, that no, uh, didn't answer the because I, 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 why are you disrespectful yeah, I don't, these rules? Uh, Can you just, now apologize? Apologize now. Go to church and confess to the priest because you just dishonored his rules. We didn't ask Christians to come up. So you need to... Oh, yes, to put that. God bless you, brother. Go, go. Uh, God bless you. Okay, Respect amen. Okay. Yeah, bye -bye. yeah, guys, listen, man. I mean, I, I, I keep saying this. I mean, you guys are all here long enough to hear this. If you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, like this, is, this is the last time I'm going to just say this. If you're a Christian... Let me cut you off. When you get to be 51, you won't be kissing and blocking people. Like that. <laughs> see, it's happening. We'll see. I'm seeing. But but seriously, man, uh, I've been repeating this over and over again. We're only allowing Muslims to come up. We're only allowing Muslims to come up. It's, it's Shut up, man. And with you guys coming up still, even though I've complete, I keep telling you, I only want. Muslims to request Christians stop requesting because you're getting in the way of me seeing whether or not you guys are Muslims or not, and you guys are interrupting the flow of the live. Yep, you're interrupting the flow. Christians, hear this you're mm -hmm. interrupting the flow of the live, you're being a stumbling block because now, exactly. instead of talking to a Muslim, I'm addressing exactly. Christians. That's right, okay? So, That's please why, just Kevin. hear. Kevin and Zane, stop barking. Shut your mouths, your pie holes. Get out of here, Kevin and Zane. You fake, effeminate. Shh. You're petty. Get out of here. All right. So I'll say it again. Christians, do not request. If you come up and you say that you're a Christian, after I just said this, I'm immediately removing you. You know, I appreciate the support. You guys want to come up and just say stuff and like, you know, we support you. Now, you know, I, I appreciate it. Just say it in the comments. Please remove your requests if you are a Christian. All right. Thank you so much.
So. Yeah, respect his rules, man. Good. I mean, me, I would have cussed you out. I would have cussed Zane and told him where he came from and Kevin, that coward. He's nice. Respect his rules. The Muslims, they're here. Go ahead. Khalid, are you a Muslim? Yeah, bro. All right. Welcome to the panel, man. Uh, we're, we're asking about the Quran verse. We're asking about the Quran verse that says that uh, Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him. Can you show us where, where that is? Where he said that? Can you answer the question? What prophets do we reject? It's on your title. Yeah. Say that we reject prophets. Yeah, can you show us where Jesus predicted Ahmed? Ask Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, what prophets do we is this Is this like, late night TikTok or something? Like, so, so you usually say, usually, usually we get stuff like this, like we get the weirdos during usually late, late night TikTok. Dumpty, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's late night TikTok yeah, no, that the was, weirdos you, come. You didn't understand. Like he was talking about the PDF prophet of his who Humpty Dumpty Daisha. Mm. He was humping her and dumping her. Got it. It was mounting her. So he got me confused with more. It. it doesn't help. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. That's Who's unfortunate. Next? Guys, man, this. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Hey, man. But here, here's, the, here's the thing about this, though. Cowards? You guys are showing 1,200, well, 1,200, 2,400. You guys are showing 2,400 people that Islam has no answers. And all you guys do is cuss. You can't address anything. And all you do is run. 2,400 people watching. That's what you're showing them. So. Uh, be my guest, man. That's Islam. You can't make it up. You can't make this up. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Muslims are scared. We'll maybe change it to another topic. Okay. You scared? You want me to open for you? Yeah, we're good. You hit your wife and she cheated on you. Oh, man. Did she? No, how do you know? That's tough. How did you know? Oh, wait, because... She was following the son of Muhammad. Mm. Did Muhammad lust for a married woman, Zaina? Didn't Allah then say, okay, Muhammad, I know you're sick. Pet a PDF, PDF. You're a PDFer, PDF. And you can't control your little Jimmy. So I'm going to make this man divorce his wife so you can mount her. And then make that woman that he slept with his mother, spiritual mother, and then you can mount Aisha and beat her like a little dog. So she was following the son of your prophet. Mm, mm, mm. Hannah, pack my See, these guys think they're getting to me. They don't know I'm just going to use every opportunity to bury their prophet. He's already in hell. Leave him in peace. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, so come on. Let's see who's next. Then we can find and talk about Jesus and claiming to be God according to God. We can yeah. get Maybe this is too much, but they're scared. Uh, Diana? De Diana? Dana? Dana. That she's got to be a Muslim. Dana, you there? I think it's Dana. Please, Diana. Where is it? Where is Diana? I can't say any glasses, brother. It's yeah, Diana. Oh, she left. Oh, what happened, man? She's like, oh, man. He's scaring me, this guy, man. He's going to get me to do muta marriage. <laughs> no way, man. Miss you out. Miss you out. Who's that? Don't know. Hi. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, well. Yes. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome Let's to the platform. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I want to tackle this question um, in another way. If okay. That's okay? Well, yep. Is that okay? Sure. So uh, I just want to ask a, a question quickly. You believe in Moses, right? Yes. Okay, so um, do you believe in archaeology? Yeah, but we're not asking about that. We're asking about no, Jesus. No, no, no. I just, okay, bear with me, bear with me. Okay. It's, it's relevant. It's relevant. So um, they say that there, as archaeologists in Germany say that they found um, a piece of wood that was uh, fastened to the front of Moses' ark. Um, and on that wood, there was a, a palm print with five names. On each finger, and Muhammad was one of those names. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And did you wake up from your fantasy? Well, I mean, it's no. I mean, did you wake up from your fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, can you get to the topic? Are you really a Muslim? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, let, can, can, let, let me hear your. Can you say the no. shout real quick? <laughs> You're lying, dude. You're lying. Uh, 
I, why do I have to prove to you that I'm a Muslim? Because <laughs> there is no Muslim who would embarrass Islam the way you just did. <laughs> And there's been plenty of Muslims that have embarrassed okay, themselves wait. up there. Did you, okay, in that same fantasy you had, were you married to Jennifer Lopez and had kids with her? No, oh, come on, Sam. No, I'm asking, be honestly. I mean, because in your fantasy, Jennifer Lopez became a Muslim she took shahad and she gave birth to 20 of your kids. <laughs> did you guys hear what he said? I don't know if you guys got, did you guys hear what he said? Okay. Did you know? Did I know? Did you, let me hey, on on oh. on YouTube. Did you hear what he said? Right? He goes. They found oh archaeology. They found the ark and attached to the ark five names, and one of the names was Muhammad. Let me hold it for you. Real, I'm holding it so you you, you just talk. okay. You, you see that? Someone says a Muslim said he's a kufar. And that, that's exactly. No Muslim would embarrass Islam to, uh, to that level. <laughs> So that's why, you know, that's why you got to say, so that's the same fantasy where Jennifer Lopez became a Muslim and married him, gave birth to 10 of his kids. Guys, what's going on today? I mean, this, this, this is, this is, they're disowning him. They're saying he's Shia. So now this guy's blaspheming. He's saying smoking polygons. Oh, I good. was trying to show that Paul crushed your prophet. Your prophet is under the shoes of Paul. So let's see. Let's see here. Hey, uh, remember my... King Seal, Black Doctor, you guys be ready, just in case you know someone tries to, ah, uh, he's gone. Muhammad is not good enough to lick Paul's shoes. Paul's shoes are better than Muhammad. He's beneath Paul's shoes, and Paul's a slave of Jesus. Let me know what I'm holding for you, brother. Whenever I'm there, I'll tell you. Okay. Who's next? Chopper, you Muslim? Yep. It doesn't matter. What's that? Matter, are you a Muslim? I will piss on your Bible and I will. Oh, he's a Muslim! He's a Muslim! Man, that was a dead giveaway, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a dead okay. giveaway. It doesn't matter. I will, I will do this to your Bible. Yes, I do the Bible I just like the Shia did to my mommy. Mommy! I'm going to take my anger out on the Bible like the Shia did to my mommy. And then they gave birth to me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is what happens when you do muta in Iran. When you do muta in Iran, this is what happens. Oh, oh man. All right, man, guys, I, I'm, I'm looking for someone serious. Really, I really am. Let's see the voice. I like your picture. Let's see what you got. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Awesome. We're asking, where does Jesus mention Muhammad, man? I, ju I just want to say, uh, you to the right, I like you. You're more respectful than Sam. Sam is kind of... That's okay. I'm acting like Muhammad. So thank, thank get to you. the point. So, so where does Jesus mention Muhammad, my friend? Where, is it, where does Jesus... Uh, by the way, I'm from Sweden, so my English isn't 100%, but Pretty hopefully good. you will understand. Yeah, yep, okay? you sound good right now. Well, Muhammad's Arabic wasn't any better, but go ahead. Sam. Can why? you get to the question, please, for the love of your God? Well, I'm trying to, to get to the question. But okay, go yeah, ahead. Get to the question emotional. because I'm going to show you how Muhammad treated people. Okay. Just get to the question. Okay, okay. I'm just going to answer. So what, what was your question again? So no, the Sam the, the question was, um, in chapter 61, verse 6, it says, it says that Jesus mentions a, a messenger to come after him named Ahmed. So yeah. I'm asking, where can we find Jesus saying this? Look, there's many verses in the Bible Give us one. where it mentions that there's going to come a prophet. Don't you you believe? Maybe it's not Muhammad. I don't know. We're not going to discuss that. But no, that's what we're going to discuss. That's what we're here prophet. to discuss. What do you mean we're not going to discuss what? that? What? We're here to discuss your Quranic claim that Jesus predicted Ahmed. What do you mean we're not going to discuss that? Yeah, no, that's does, does what we're say, discussing. Does it, does it, wait, wait, wait. Does it say the name Ahmed? Yes, 61 verse 6. Your Quran says, okay, I have come to announce good tidings of a messenger after me named Ahmed. That's your Quran, 61 verse 6. Yes. yes. So show us where Jesus predicted the coming of Ahmed in the Bible. Well, it doesn't say directly that in the Bible it will predict Ahmed. Okay, show us where Jesus mentioned what you think is your prophet to come. In the, there's many, there's many predictions. There's a prediction one. that... There was there's a prediction in the Bible that there's gonna come a prophet and the Mount Saint, uh, Sinai. Okay, can you show us where Jesus mentioned that? Can you show us? So give us the chapter. Listen, listen. We, we all we all we all saw a video one day of Sam seeing Uthman and he was shitting himself. Yeah, he I know. Was like I was so shitting scared. on the Quran. 
and, uh, and uh, yeah, I was pissing on the car. Right, right, right. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, boys, also, boys, 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 when you boys, debate- boys, boys, listen, bro. Uh, I, I gave you an opportunity, man. I gave you an opportunity. I'm giving you another opportunity right now. Thank Just you. go ahead. Yeah, get to the point. Show bro. us where Jesus mentioned the coming of this Islamic prophet. You said maybe not verbatim off it. We'll grant that. Sure, no problem. Where do you yes, think? Where do you think Jesus describes Muhammad? In the Quran, it mentions that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger okay. that we believe. Okay. 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 And in the Bible, let him cook. There, okay. let him cook. there's prediction. Yeah, yeah. In, okay, in the Bible, where did Jesus predict him? Let him cook. Let him cook. Go ahead. Yeah, bro, bro, I like you. I swear to God, I like you. Yeah, What's yeah. More? I, I, I swear What's to Allah, What's your name? I dislike What's you. Your name? But go ahead. What's your name? No, go ahead, bro. Just, My just name continue. is Nanya. Go ahead. Get, get to the point. To don't talk like Aisha. Like, oh, I don't want to talk to this bald pedophile, Sam. He looks like a bald uh, pedophile. Wait, your prophet is what again? Your prophet was what? PDFer? Slut he was? Can we say slut? No. Okay. So, Mutt? Yeah. Okay, Mutt. <laughs> All right, believe in the Quran. <laughs> That's all they can do. And by the way, you Muslims, I have the email. I have the email from Modern Day Debate. Daniel Hakikachu and Uthman Ibn Zina ran like Aisha from debating me in a neutral platform. I have the emails and I'm going to publish them again to show you. Uthman, that slob, he ran and this dude toasted him. And then you should not be calling him to account for doing zinna with a wife of a Muslim friend of his. And you're still promoting him? Oh, but he's no better than Muhammad. Muhammad did the same thing. Mm. You know, birds of a feather, but go ahead. Believe in the Quran. On, How are you doing? What's going on, Lonjin? Nothing you know much, man. Is. Nothing much. Sam, what's up? Hey, man, the sky. Is this Malik? Yeah. What are Sam, you doing here? Mike. What's Back up? Again? Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you doing here? Back again. Man, we here. What, what are you doing here? You've been, you, you've been you've been going around talking mess mess about the Christians, the Orthodox, the Catholics. He you've does. been doxing. What's going on with this that? guy? Yeah, this is the dude. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what? Can you show? Oh, he left. I say, kicked can, him. Oh, Doctor Shirk like, is what we call him. Because I'd like to know. Can you give me your location so I can come visit you and we can recite Quran together? Wait, the nerve of the to to and to pop up on a on a different. I thought wasn't to, that the other guy? No. <clears throat> She's a Muslim, I think. That's a, not a Christian name. Let's see. Maybe it's a... Yes, you Muslim? We can't hear you if you're off the app. Jaida. Sounds like an Indonesian. Hello. Yes, hi. Hi. Yes, I'm a Muslim. See, I told you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank so, you. So we're asking okay, so I'm where... Not, I'm not... I'm not well versed okay. when it comes to the Bible and stuff. But okay. okay, so basically, I just wanted to address something. The backdrop the that's already false. That's good. Yeah, and also when it comes to the uh, Bible, I think there are a few places uh, where Muhammad was mentioned or prophesied. Okay. Um, I think Song of Solomon was one of them in John sixteen thirteen. All right. Sure, you want to go there? All right, yeah, we can because um, okay. the things, like I said, I'm not well versed, but I'm no, just okay. not happy with the fact that the backdrop is already falsehood. Guess what? Muslims believe in all the prophets. No, you don't. Yes, I'm, we do. I'm about to show you that you don't. You don't. Okay. 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 So you quoted John 16, right? 16, 13. 16, 13. Okay. All right. So we're going to go there. Can I hold it for you? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go there and we're going to see what Jesus says. And if you mm -hmm. accept what Jesus says, well, the thing is, when it comes to what John said, not what no, Jesus said. Ah, yeah. Boom. You just quoted John 16. According sister. To John, this is according to John. It's not a gospel of Jesus. All right, so let, me, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. There we go. Why, why are you quoting John 16, verse 13? You just because said. that's what you guys have. You guys are saying from the Bible and the Bible that you have so wait, wait, wait. are from the gospel no, no, of his disciples. No, according to no, 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 even, no, listen, Jack, Jack, Jada, Jada, is it Jada or Jada? Jada, Jada. Jada, okay, Jada. So, Jada, listen. Um, if you if you don't believe that this is a proof, yeah, by the way, be careful. Will Smith might. <laughs> if, if you if you believe that if we're, we're asking we're at Jada we're asking for a like a truth. We want to know a valid place 
where Jesus mm -hmm. prophesied uh, Ahmed to come or Muhammad. Okay, That's all we're asking. All right, all right. So if you don't believe John 16 is it, you don't want to hear it. It's a fair question, right? Okay, but you. listen to your question. You said where Jesus said. Yes, so where right. is Jesus' gospel? Because there's 300 gospels that the church's fathers right. reject. Name, name so 10 of them. Name 10 the of them. Jada, name 10 of them. Thomas, name 10 of them. Sorry? Name 10 of them. You said there are the name of 10. I name you 10, but I name you two already. No, no, give me 10. Thomas and Thomas. Give me right? 10. Stop talking over okay, me. Give me I 10. just told you I'm not well versed when it comes to the Bible. But I just know there's 300. But, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that you yeah, guys want don't to. Don't let me get Will Smith on you. Only when it comes to the Bibles, that the Bible that you have today. You no, guys your prophet said my Bible, Bible is true. Today. Your prophet said my Bible is true. So you're Injil, saying your prophet is a liar. Injil, Injil that your was given to Isa said, alayhi salam. Okay. So, so Jada, okay. Jada, 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 you know what Muhammad said? He told you zip the lip, right? Wait, 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 wait. You said you want to stick to the topic. Yeah, Let's okay, okay, Jada. Yeah, so yeah. I, I muted you. You probably Dude, don't even know that. I'm, I'm probably going to become Muslim just because you're proving Muhammad is right about you women. And I don't like Muhammad. He's we're, saying you guys are stupid. Try, come on, don't prove him right. Yeah, like we're, we're trying to have a... Uh, come on. We're, we're grown. Careful. Let's have a conversation, man. Be careful. Okay, so you just getting nervous Brother, talking. On. Jada, right? Uh -huh. She may have a Muslim Will Smith. I know. He may not slap you. Oh, you. It, it's all good, man. It's, it's all good. So, Jada, look, we're, we're talking, okay? Um, let, let's, let's entertain this thought. I want to take it this way. Let's entertain this thought that, uh, I mean, we didn't, did you bring up John 60? So, we, uh, it was you that brought up John 60. Chat, was it us that brought up John 16 or did she when she was like, there's a few places where Muhammad is prophesied? Okay, so let me ask you this, Jada. I don't know if you're muted, or I don't know if you know, but you're muted. Do you believe that John 16 prophesies the coming of Muhammad? I want to know this. You can come off mute. You probably don't know that you're muted. She's probably talking all this time. Probably you've been talking this entire time. Hello. So, Hello. Yeah. So did you okay. hear, did you hear the question? I did. I did. I listened. In fact, I wasn't speaking. I, I know you guys mute people just so okay, you can get a word Zip it and get to the question. Right. Zip it. I will. I will. I will. Your question was, do I believe that John was the one who prophesied? No, about... that's not what my question was. What? So here to ask your question. Jada, the truth? can I ask okay, you a question yes. without you manifesting? Jada, can I ask you a question without sure. you manifesting? I, I'm not manifesting okay, anything. Well, in Bukhari, your prophet said women are stupid. Why do you prove him true? Uh, I thought you guys want to stick to the topic. No, I'm so just saying, why do you prove Muhammad you is true? He said please you women are stupid. Please practice what you preach. You're, First Muhammad, of all, you are you saying Muhammad is John, stupid for saying you're sure stupid? John wrote it? Yeah. Were you guys sure that John wrote it? Okay. We all talked right. about the Injil, which was sent yeah, to Jesus. Yeah, the Black Salam. Stone. Make sure Jesus, the Black Stone doesn't kiss you back. Because Will Smith may get upset and back at you. No, 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 I'm being real here. You guys can accept this, right? We're having a discussion. We're so, talking so, about this. So, Jada, okay. Jada, so let me let me say my question again because so, you didn't understand. Okay. So sure. you, you quoted John 16, verse 13. I was asking, okay. do you believe that that is a true prophecy of Muhammad? I'm questioning the authority when it comes to the itself. <laughs> so why'd you raise that up? Why'd you quote it? John, you don't even know if it's really John. Okay, I got you. I, you I'm guys are still so, so, Jada, Jada, I'm with you. I'm with you. So if you're saying right. this, if you're saying this, that... You know, you're questioning the authority of this scripture, uh -huh. this text, to this reference. Mm -hmm. Who brought this up? You or us? I brought it up. Okay. So when because I asked you, when I asked you, Bible, I asked you, yeah, where yeah, does, yeah. I asked you, where does Jesus prophesy the coming of Muhammad? Where you gave me the Jesus answer of John 16. Why did you where give me that? Jesus' gospel. Hmm? Because that's the Bible you guys have today. So, that's so is it is it a true prophecy or not? Today. Is it a true prophecy or not? If you if you needed to to know something that's closest to it, I can give you J that. Jada, is example. it a true prophecy or not? Well, that's debatable, even for you guys. Why would you quote it then if it's debatable? Because you guys ask about the Bible that you have today. So okay. Have to go All right. So I'm I'm gonna give you another chance. I'm gonna give you another chance. Can right, you give me? A, can, can you give me an authoritative reference? Give me a true reference okay. where Jesus actually prophesied Muhammad. Can I answer? Please. 
Okay, where's the gospel of Jesus? How are you asking me? A, thank you. Take, you take, see, you want take, the truth. Take, take, take care, care. Jada. Take care. Make sure the Shia don't find you. Jada, make sure the Shia don't find you. Because they'll love to find you. Now, I'm scared she may have a Muslim version of Will Smith. And if he's a Muslim version, he ain't going to be slapping people. He's going to be beheading people. Jada, tell that Will Smith, chill. Take a chill pill. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. I just want to read something. Yeah. I want to read something because... What's going on? Hold on. Yeah, I'll read it for us. I want to read something for you guys, man. Oh, it's not letting me pull it up. It's not letting me pull up Saeed Bukhari. Man, bro, your connection is okay. It's all right. But anyway, you wanted to read where Muhammad said women are stupid, right? Yeah, I wanted to read that. I now, to I, I don't believe Muhammad is a prophet. I know he's burning in hell under the feet of Jesus. And I believe what the Bible says about women. But when you women do what you do, you're making a strong case that Muhammad may have been right. And I don't want to believe that because I want to believe what the Bible says about women. And so Muhammad says, you women are stupid. Why are you proving him right, Muslim women? Well, I want to believe what the Bible says about Jesus, about women. What Jesus and the true word of God, the Bible says about women, not what Muhammad says about you, but you're making a strong case that he may be right after all. Anybody look up Sahih Bukhari 304. Sahih Al Bukhari 304. Muhammad says that the, the majority of the inhabitants of hell are women. The women asked Muhammad why. He said, because you curse, you're ungrateful, you're deficient in your mind, and you're deficient in your religion. They asked him, what is the deficiency in our mind? He said, isn't the testimony of two women equal to that of one man? They said, yes. They said, this is the deficiency in your mind. See, so he takes two women brains to equal one man brain. And then he says, don't you miss the prayers and things of this nature for because of your menses, because of your periods? They said, yes, this is your deficiency in religion. So, man, yep. this is what Muhammad says, guys. Yep. And you guys keep, when we try, we hope that the Muslim that comes up proves Muhammad wrong. <clears throat> now, <sighs> Debbie, don't be an armchair quarterback. You don't speak for us. You don't represent us. Stop barking. Stop being effeminate. Go back to your vomit, little girl. <laughs> no one cares for you, respects your opinion, Debbie. Now, do we have anyone else? Yeah, we got 14 other people, man. Right, now, let me talk to you about people. Jesus. And, yeah, we, we can switch it up, man. This let is a little too guys are Hey! <laughs> oh, she's here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. now, you're going to really get people. You, you want me to throw her in? Yeah, you can bring it, but you All gonna, right. hey, you're going to make people become Muslim because she's going to make she's going to prove this hadith right. <laughs> All right. If you want, you can take a, you can take the topic to the Okay, let's see what happens. Right. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it's up to you, man. Let's see. Uh, boy. Welcome back. <laughs> Bell, what, what's going on? My favorite people. My favorite people. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. You ready to cook today? Yeah, I've heard, I've listened, I've heard the questions and stuff. So y'all want to know where in the Bible did Jesus, well, was it prophesied by Muhammad, right? Did, did Jesus? No? Where did Jesus She's listening? Yeah, I'm proud of you. You're Bell. the only one who gets the question right. You're listening, Bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. My real name is Belkis, by the way. It's 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 Bell what? Belkis. Oh, Belkis. Belkis yeah. was the name She's supposedly of the queen of Sheba. Yes, yeah, so if you're very correct. Exactly. Belkis Sheikh. Did you know the story? There was a woman named Belkis Sheikh. She wrote a book called I Dare to Call Him Father. She was a Muslim and became a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ and worships Jesus. She wrote a book, I Dare to Call Him Father. I hope you follow her footsteps. In my Quran, she worshiped the son and the prophet Solomon, he brought her to Islam. So that's the wow. story. Did you hear what I said though, uh, Belkis? Yeah, I heard that one. I heard that one where you Belkis, said that. There was a woman named Belkis Sheikh. She was a Muslim when she started studying the Bible. She fell in love with the real God, revealed the Lord Jesus Christ, and she goes, I dare to call him Father, meaning that she could not call Allah Father, but she could call Jesus' Father, Father, and she left Islam. It's called, I dare to call him Father. Bilkis Sheikh, but go ahead. I'll look it up. So, yeah, in the book of Isaiah 42, verse 1. Jesus' Gospel. I didn't either. Is that the gospel? Wow, is that Jesus' gospel, Isaiah 42? Did I say where does it mention Ahmed by name? No, 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 no. But, but I mean. Yeah, she yeah. can go there. That's going yeah. to be Janazah yeah. for Muhammad. Yeah, I well, mean, 
Uh, we can address it. If it's up to you, Sam, you want to address it. But, but Bell, so we're, we're asking specifically, where did Jesus mention the coming of Ahmed, okay? So if uh, if Sam I, I wants to address know. Isaiah 42, we'll allow it. But we're asking yeah, so about Jesus specifically. Yeah, you can't show Jesus because Isaiah 42 is going to be Janazah for Muhammad. Okay, so Isaiah 42, he, um, in Greek, I mean, in Hebrew, it's men, his name is mentioned Ahmed. No, it's in not. Ahmed. Hebrew doesn't say Ahmed. I can show you. Uh, I have, if I could we have read. the Bible.com. It doesn't say Ahmed. I have, it in, I have it in Hebrew here. If you just no, okay, if okay, I can okay, turn okay. on my camera and show you, I can show you on my camera exactly the words, every single thing. It doesn't say Ahmed. Ahmed is Arabic. But I can show you. Okay. How about I turn on my camera and you, you read it okay. for me? We're going to show it on the screen, Bilkis. Just be patient. That's the good him, thing about technology. And break it down, break okay. it down. I can send you the okay. video if you want. Okay, well, show us where it says Ahmed in there. We have it right here. It's in front of us here. I can't see anything. It says, Khen Abdi at Mak Bu Bahari. Right, Abdi's uh, one servant. Abdi means servant in Hebrew, right? It means what? Yes, okay. Where's the word Ahmed here? Right, so where's he, the it, word means Ahmed here? I have it on my screen. I can show it to you because I don't speak. We Hebrew, have the Hebrew can... here. It's in front of our eyes. It's right here. Yes. Show it on the screen. There is no Ahmed in Hebrew. Hold on. It's right in the screen. Right there. There is no Ahmed in Hebrew. Okay, please stop. And we're going to show you Jesus fulfilled this. Are you ready, Bilqis? If you go to my YouTube channel, it's on the screen. Can I finish before you go on? What? Finish what I was going to say before before you go on. Okay, but correct yourself. It doesn't say Ahmed. I, I can show you on my screen. I can't okay. see your screen. I could, okay, hold on. Uh, let, me, let me do this. Let me do this. Needles, needles and pins. pins and needles, needles and pins. Once I can open up my screen and I can show it to you. care less about your screen because you're going to a Muslim website deceiving you about the Dead Sea Scrolls. It doesn't say <laughs> Ahmed. Yeah, yeah, we know we know what you're looking at. Okay, hold on. Here you go. Here you go. We know what you're looking at. Here. Take it easy, Pilkis, please. I'm already old and tired. I'm gonna die of a heart attack. Please take it easy. Please. Okay. Sure. As we know, as we know. Who is that? So Belle, you see this? Okay, can you see? A hole and then show her the word my chosen one. Is that Ahmed? Okay. And what if this let me just come here with what? Yeah, let me come play with the one. Yeah, you're breaking up. Yeah. One I have. Let me yeah. compare it with the one I so have. Do you Hold see on. it on the screen? Where's the one? Compare it with the one that I have. Show us Ahmed. It's here on the screen, the Hebrew. It's right there. The Hebrew letters. Hold on. I have what to, I have to put you on the screen. transliterates it for you if you don't read her Bakari. Yeah, okay. the one that um let me read let me read. I can't read um I can't read in Hebrew. You can't read. Okay, it? see that one that says X? Okay, that? slow down that Let's one right there. This box. Okay, which word? Etmak. Etmak means to uphold. I lift them up. That's see, not them letters. Ahmed. Look at the letters. That's not Ahmed. Oh my God, the letters! There I can go. send you a picture on my That's screen right now. That's not Ahmed. The okay, word the, means the to number, uphold, to strengthen, to support. Bilkis, listen more than you speak. Guys, it means if you guys to, uphold, to uphold, to <laughs> strengthen. Go <laughs> to the word. Click on Etmak because she's going to start reciting Quran. She's not listening. Okay. Tamak is the word. You're telling me this is Ahmed? That's the word right there. So, guys, Bilkis is now proving Tamak means Ahmed. Only in Islamic fairy tale, uh, Islamic wonderland. This happens. Okay. That's the word for uphold. Yeah, yeah. So you, you know what? This is really good because Ahmad really means that. Ahmad means chosen. No, Ahmad means He means the one who is great. Okay. Bukis, let me give you some tips. Bukis, please listen. Ahmad is from the root meaning praise. Muhammad, Ahmad, Mahmoud, it doesn't come from this word in Arabic, it means praise. In Hebrew, the word praise is 
Hellel, Hellel, Ahmed, Muhammad, Mahmoud, Hamid, like Alhamdulillah, Hamd, that means praise. This is not the word for praise in Hebrew. The word for praise in Hebrew is Hallel. It's not even the same word. Okay, so, okay then. Okay then. Since you want to ignore that one, let's go on to the, the next. Okay. So, okay, okay, so in the verse it says, how's my, my servant? Let me finish. Let me just explain this, okay? Give me a one. chance. Give me a chance. Okay, right? So, it says my servant. Right? The Hebrew word is Abba, right? I mean, the Arabic word is Abba. Right? I mean, the Hebrew word is Abed, and the Arabic word is okay. Ab, right? And that word Ab here stands for servant, which is Abdullah. And okay, Muhammad's can, next okay. name is Abdullah, Belkis. right? Belkis. And then the other, the other word. Here we go again. Belkis. Uh -huh. According to your Quran, all the prophets are Abdullah. Even in your Quran, in chapter 19, verse 30, Jesus says, I am Abd. I am the Abd of Allah. So to quote a verse yes, where it says... One. Belkis, can you let me finish my point before you manifest? Please, sister. Please. I'm old and I'm going to drop dead of a heart attack and they're going to think he killed me because he allowed you on. Okay. Okay, listen. The word Abdi, my slave, is common to all prophets and messengers. Even in your Quran, chapter 19, verse 30, if you want to show her, you have Jesus as a baby saying, I am the servant of Allah. Abd Allah. Abd Allah. So he is Abd as well. Okay, this so doesn't prove Muhammad. So you guys, so you guys really, you guys think that you're servants of Allah now? I didn't know that y'all could be servants. Then you don't know our theology. We believe we are sons and daughters. Do you want me to answer your question? What's up with this chick, dude? It's your favorite. Okay. In our theology, we are sons and daughters who serve our Father and Jesus. So in that sense, we are servants. You only are a slave. We're more than that. Okay, so I'm going to show you where this is about Jesus, Isaiah 42. Just be patient. Can you open up Isaiah 42, verses 1 of 4? That but Matthew so even gives it if you go back. I can show you about it's Okay, then take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Go to Isaiah 42. Just be patient for the love of your Allah. Not your Allah, not my Allah. Okay, Isaiah 42. Okay, if you click on it, scroll down. You see, it tells you where to go. Matthew 12. It even gives you the cross reference. She's not listening. Repeat what I said, Bilkis. Repeat what I said. Okay, are you going to let me finish the point? You're going to put on the screen. Are you gonna let me finish the point? Yeah, and when you're done, I wanna I wanna okay, talk. Okay, can we be patient? Let us yeah, go. Okay. Isaiah 42. My goodness, these <laughs> Muhammad, you may have been right about women, Muhammad. Man, okay. Isaiah 42. Oh, here we go again. Isaiah 42. Can you read verses one of four? And then watch. <clears throat> Behold my servant whom I uphold. My chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. Uh, and he will declare he, justice to the Gentiles. Uh -huh. He'll bring justice to the Gentiles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He will not cry out, easy, sister. Take it easy. nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Uh, and a bruised reed he will not break, uh, nor nor not a smoking a smoking and a flax he will quench. Not quench. He won't quench them. In other words, he won't hurt those who are marginalized and weak. Uh -huh. He will bring forth, oh, uh, and so for true, yeah. and he will bring forth justice. To who? He will not fail. I keep going before, the right there. Uh, and he okay. will not fail, nor will be discouraged, mm -hmm. till he has established in all the earth justice. Okay, did you read that? And his law, notice his law, scroll down. His law, all the coastlands will wait upon and for. Okay, this now. Matthew 12, open up the regular Bible, Matthew 12, and read 17 to 21. Belkis, take it easy. Let's show you who fulfilled this according to our Bible. Matthew 12, 17 to 21. She got you so confused, you thought the Quran is the Bible. Amen. Amen. And sorry, I feel you, bro. Love. Now watch this love. prophecy, Belkis, who it's applied to. Matthew 12, 17 to 21. <clears throat> watch here. All right. You ready, Bill? So it says... Uh, yeah. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. So it's talking about Jesus saying, Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I, have, I will put my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. 
He will not quarrel or cry aloud. She's talking over you. Nor will, will anyone, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. Now, the keys, according to our Bible, Jesus fulfilled Isaiah 42, so it can't be Muhammad. So what other verse do you have? Yeah. The next verse where it says how, let the wilderness of the tongue raise their voices, little the settlement of okay. crap. Where okay, the settlement keys, of go crap to another is. passage. Isaiah 42 let me, doesn't let me, help let me, you. Let me just finish. I get you. Isaiah I you 42 whole doesn't chance. help you. Go to another passage. But listen, I gave you a whole chance. Let me just finish this verse and explain. In my, what, You're going to bury your Quran okay? if you go to the tents of Kidar. No. I'm going to no. embarrass you with that. It says how. It says how. In the settlement where Kadar is. Okay, Who's Kadar? No. Kadar is. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh my God. I give you guys a whole chance. <laughs> yeah. So Kadar is the descendant of Ishmael, right? And God is saying how mm -hmm. that in the book of Ezekiel, right? The book of Ezekiel, Arabia and the prince of Kadar is where your your okay. uh, your favor of. Burkis, Ram and show Ram. me in the Quran. Show me in the Quran where Muhammad is the son of Ishmael and a descendant of Kadar. Show me that in the Quran. He is the descendant of Ishmael. Show me um, from Ishmael. the Quran. From the, Show me from, from the Quran. Oh my goodness, Muhammad, you're right about women. Show me from the Quran where it says Muhammad is a son of Ishmael, a son of Kidar. Show me. Give me the ayah of the Quran where it says that. Yeah, Google it. Just Google's going to help you. I think it might be a hadith or but I'm not sure. Show but me in the Quran. Me, she can tell you this. You don't have to use the Quran for this. You want us to block you or are you going to listen? Give me the verse in the Quran where it says that Muhammad is a descendant of Abraham, a descendant not of Ishmael, a descendant of Kedar. Show me that. Okay, hold on. I want the verse from the Quran. And you have to be stop being so hostile and mean, okay? Well, I'm not you being hostile. Listen. You speak 50 miles per hour and you don't listen. You because think you we don't, don't know these prophecies. Give me the verse where it says Muhammad is from Kidar and he's a descendant of Ishmael and the son of Abraham. I want the chronic verse. Show it to me. We'll be waiting till. So what if I find? Hajj. What if I find the hadith? What if I find the hadith? Or... Even in the hadith, can you calm down? The hadith is going to be your burial or your janazah because the Muslim scholars say that we can only trace Muhammad's genealogy to Adnan. Beyond that, it's all guesswork, and the genealogists lie. Because they don't know if he's from Kedar or from <clears throat> Ishmael's other son, whether he's from Kedar or Nebawith. So if you go to Hadith, you're going to bury yourself. So stick with the Quran. Show me where it says Muhammad is a son of Abraham, a son of Ishmael from Kedar. He's the descendant of Ishmael. Can you give me the verse in the Quran? Let me find it. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Make sure Chef Google helps you. Take Shahada. There is no God but Allah, and Chef Google is his messenger. What? Yeah, okay. Go find it. Just find the verse. <laughs> find the verse, please. You're going to make me die this week, dude. I'm going to die of heart attack. You, 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 was at, you literally asked. I know that. You said, where, where, where's, where's Bill? Because I'm going for Pin. Okay. <laughs> Y'all going, going to hit every verse and say, it's not about Muhammad, it's not about Muhammad. No, we're going to say it's Muhammad. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Show me where I, Muhammad is the son of Ishmael from the Quran. Okay, done. As you're looking that up, can you be honest with us? Were you reading off of an Islamic website? Of course. Of course. Um, I have all the... I have all the, the, the Where'd you get it from? He's asking you. From, yeah. from the Bible, of course. <laughs> so, so Bill, you mean, I, I, you mean to tell me? My, my, my so, wait, wait, wait. So, Bill, Bill. So, you mean, you mean to tell me, Bill, that you, in your own studies, was reading through the Bible from Genesis all the way to Isaiah? You hopped on Isaiah 42, looked at the Hebrew, and said, "Ah, Ahmed was in here." You came up with that yourself? No, I actually um, I did research on it. Obviously. What what kind of research? Where where did you where did you get this information from? So obviously I went to I went mm -hmm. to, to see the the actual Hebrew text on the, <laughs> the Hebrew that you couldn't read. Okay, who provided it for you? Yeah, and then and then they showed us the letters. Who's they? they the who who? The people on the website. Who who are they? Probably of course of course it's Muslims. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. Of course, okay, because we have, we have to know. Okay, can you show me? Did you find the verse yet or no? No, I didn't find that. Okay, give us another prophecy if you think it's Muhammad. Okay, let me give you another one. I have a lot, though. Yeah, give us another one. I don't know if you guys want to listen to me because you guys don't ever listen to we, me. We, we love you, Bear. You're our favorite. You see, you, la you last longer than the others. <laughs> <laughs> right, so then the, the next one, it has so many though, but you're going to say some, some, someone else, yeah? Okay, so well, I just know. give it to us, let's see. Yeah, and he said the Lord came from Sinai, he rose up and said unto them, right, and shined from the mountain, Mount Paran. That's in Saudi Arabia. So one what? Of the is, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's the not. For, for the mountain. Okay. okay, Sinai, the desert, okay, you're talking about Paran or Sinai? Sinai. And Mount Paran is Mount Paran. That's two different things. Okay, right Quran, okay, that's okay. Yeah. It right. is Mount Paran, Mount yeah. Sinai. Right? That's two different things. That's two different areas. Yeah, here we go again with the nonsense. Okay. Okay, Mount Paran. Can you prove to us from the Bible? Mount Paran is Mecca and Medina. Show it to us. In the Bible? Yes, because you just quoted the Bible. This is common sense. If you know your history. No, it's not common sense because yeah, Mount Paran is. History? Mount Paran is located uh -huh. between Shur, Egypt, and Israel. It's not in Mecca, Medina. So I'm going to ask you again. Show me from the Bible where Paran is in. I can't show you that because I don't read all that okay. Bible stuff. Now, secondly, it says he came from the ten thousands of holy ones. I know the prophecy that you must have said. This is supposedly Muhammad coming into Mecca when he conquered Mecca with ten thousand jihadis. That's what you're going to say, okay. right? The Bible also says okay, about you didn't how hear my question. People. You didn't yeah. hear my question. According to the Muslim website that deceived you and embarrassed you, because they wouldn't have the courage to come and debate us on this, this supposedly means that Muhammad came into Mecca because Paran is Arabia with 10,000 jihadis when he conquered Mecca, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, now. Here's where they made you, embarrassed you, and made you stupid. And I know you're not stupid. This is why I'm upset at the Muslims for doing this to you. Okay, but can you let me make my point? It says that he would come with the 10,000 of holy ones in Sinai, Seir, and Mount Paran. So can you show me where uh, there were 10,000 jihadis at the time of Moses and Seir, supposedly Palestine, Jesus. That's the prophecy, So, because I know what the prophecy is. Show me where Jesus entered Palestine with 10,000 jihadis and where Moses had 10,000 jihadis. Because it says in all these places, Yahweh appeared with 10,000s of holy ones. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, let me repeat the prophecy that you didn't understand that you're going to use against me. Okay, the prophecy, according to the Muslims, is see, the Lord came from Sinai. That's referring to the law given to Moses. And Don from Sierra, that's Palestine, referring to the gospel of Jesus. And he showed forth from Mount Quran. That's the Quran given to Muhammad. Why? Because mm -hmm. the prophecy that you didn't understand, that Sinai means Moses, Sierra is Jesus, Palestine, Mount yes, Quran is Arabia. Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, now, if it's true, that means God, because he came from the ten thousands of holy ones. That phrase, go read your prophecy, you didn't understand. They'll say that's what Muhammad entered Mecca with 10,000 jihadis and he conquered Mecca. See, fulfilled. Okay, but hold on. It says Yahweh would come with 10,000 holy ones in all three places. So can you show me when Jesus entered Palestine with 10,000 holy ones? No, he didn't. Jesus didn't enter Palestine. But the with prophecy you quoted says God, God came to these places with 10,000 of his holy ones. Not just Quran. Okay, so you guys are translating to be God? No, it's his prophet. No, it's on the top. The Lord came from Sinai. Read it. The Lord yeah, came yeah, from it's, Sinai. It's literally a metaphor. Obviously, it's not. It's God. not an obvious metaphor. Okay, so then where did Jesus come in with 10,000 jihadis? Let me read that again. What you say? Let me read it again. Yeah, read it again. And, read the, and he said the Lord came from. I don't see the jihadi part in this. In this, he uh, came the from the ten thousands of holy ones. It's the last line of the verse. Oh, I don't have that whole verse. But anyway, uh, I don't know. 
about the jihadi stuff that, that you guys okay, just mentioned. Okay, then you didn't even understand the Muslim website that you're quoting. Now, before we leave this part, do you I agree with a... me? Bilkis, take okay. it easy, please. Do you agree you with me? <laughs> Can I make my point, Bilkis? Do you agree with me that this book, if this is a prophecy, you quoted this book. I just want to make sure she quoted it. Sure, sure. Okay. That means if you're quoting this book, then the prophet who will come cannot contradict the theology of the book. Meaning, if this is Muhammad who's coming from Mount Paran, then that means Muhammad's going to agree with the theology of this book. But this is the book that says God is a father and Israel is a son. Can you show her from this book you quoted? Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. Yes. Now watch what you just did. Just be patient. Because you quite didn't quote this. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. What does it say? It says, you are the sons of the Lord, your God. Hmm. Now, let me ask you something. This book that you quoted, which supposedly says Muhammad is coming. This book, Moses says, the Lord God is the father of Israel. Israel the Israelites are the sons and daughters of God. Are you the daughter of Allah? I don't deal with all those English translation stuff enough. Are you the daughter of Allah, Bukis? No, I'm not. So then how can Muhammad be the prophet that Moses said will come? Because Moses says, my God is a father. We are his sons and daughters. Muhammad says, my God you is was, not a was, father. You was there to hear sure. Moses said that? You was yeah, there this to is the same book. You was there to hear that Moses said he has a father, or was that right here? Read it again. Moses, anyway. This is Moses speaking. Bell. It said he mm -hmm. said, "You are the sons I know of the he, I Lord know your God." Yes, yeah, sons. You're gonna you're you're gonna use that word sons and daughter to say that. Moses okay, so do not, do not call us sons and daughters. You guys are gonna use that. I know. Go so Deuteronomy thirty-two. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, and I'm telling you. That yes, you're gonna use that, but this what you're using here, this is this is not authentic. Like this is oh, this part is not guys. Did you catch it? This part is not authentic. Okay. Because they could be using daughters okay. and sons as a Good metaphor. Piece. All right, okay, we got your point. That's corrupt. You only accept those parts that agree with you. Okay, another thing. This I book. I Good piece, can I one. make my point? This <laughs> yeah. book. This book. Listen. This book that you quoted in Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 of 4, I want you to see what this God says. Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 of 4. Wait, hold on. Because this shows the Quran cannot be from this God. Deuteronomy, forget 32. Go to Deuteronomy 24. Oh, 24. Yeah, because she said it's corrupted. So this is going to be corrupt too. Interesting. So go to Deuteronomy. 10. Now, listen to what this book you quote. Guys, she quoted Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 to 4. This book, the God of this book, what does he say? All right. He says this. When a man takes a wife and marries her, if then she finds no favor in his eyes because he has found some indecency in her and he writes her a certificate of divorce and puts it in her hand and sends her out of his house and she departs out of his house. And if she goes and becomes another man's wife and the latter man hates her and writes a certificate of divorce, and puts it in her hand and sends her out the house. Or if the latter man dies, who took her to be his wife, then her former husband, who sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife after she has been defiled. For that is an abomination before the Lord. And you shall not bring sin upon the land that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance. To make sure, Bill Keys, you understood what we just read. God said, if I marry someone, I divorce her. She marries someone else and he divorces her. I cannot take her back. That would be disgusting. But according to Allah of the Quran, Bill Keys, Allah of the Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, Ayah 230, Surat Al-Baqarah, he's going to read it, but I'm going to tell you what it says. Ayah 230, it says, Don't I didn't make my point. <laughs> Can I make the point? If, if your Shia husband divorces you, 
I'm not a and Shia. Then, okay, all right. Your Sunni husband divorces you, <laughs> and another Sunni man marries you and has sex with you and divorces you. Only then can your first husband take you back. Can you read it for her? I know that. I know that. Had, I know oh, that okay, wait. So you know it, right? That's yeah. the halala muhallal. So your God says that the only way your husband can take you back after he divorces you is if you marry someone, he has sex with you. But the God of Moses says that's disgusting. So the God of Moses from that book says your God is disgusting. How can the prophet be like Moses? Firstly, first thing we have to remember, in the time of Moses, there was one law about marriage. When Jesus came, the law changed about marriage. Okay, he said how when somebody, when, when, he, when, when Jesus came, he said how, well, when a woman gets divorced, she can't get remarried again because she's going to be considered as having adultery, right? So some, so she has to remain single. And then when Muhammad came, the law no changed again. About, I think she's talking about changing law. Okay, no, but yeah, she just like, twisted the Bible. Okay. Uh, but no, wait, wait, hold on. Well, you see, let me, give me a chance. I gave you guys a okay, whole go ahead, go ahead. chance. Now, the reason why, the reason why a woman, it is said that the woman should remarry, right? And then is because when she divorces her husband, right, she has to be sure that she does not want to, to like to go back with him. So Allah is giving her another chance to experience life with somebody else to see that if that, that okay, she has completely, you know, doesn't want to um she she has the experience that she does she wants a new person. Did you check the roast? Never? Yeah, okay. Uh can I answer now? Yeah. Okay, let's go but back. I want to. I want to. Okay, well, hold on. Let's go back so you don't run. Number one, there are certain changes to certain laws, such as what you said about marriage and remarriage. Yeah. But it's not really a change. It's that Jesus makes it stricter. That's not the same. It's a because change. Because it's like saying, it's like saying, well, Moses condemned homosexuality. But now it's okay. No, this command is on the level of homosexuality, lesbianism, and bestiality. Certain things that will not change, certain things that are disgusting. The issue of marriage and remarriage, the only change is that Jesus makes it stricter. He made it harder, but this is not on the same level. When it says to marry a woman that you have divorced and then marry the second time and take her back, that's disgusting. The same language that he uses for homosexuality, lesbianism. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. So anyway, no, that's a false analogy. But according to the God of this book, what the Quran says is disgusting. And the God of this book is a father to his people. But your God is not a father. How in the world are you going to convince us that Moses spoke of Muhammad? I have a question for you for this verse here. Tell me who is talking about because you guys know everything, right? So no. this verse here, he knows right? I, it's, it's me that knows everything. Well, I, Isaiah 21, where he said, oh, okay. the building upon a river yeah, so is wait, wait, so, so wait, just oh. before you go to Isaiah 21. So are you, are you sure, are you, are you agreeing with us that Deuteronomy cannot possibly be talking about Muhammad? That's your guys' um, interpretation of it. So is it is it a, is it an accurate I interpretation agree, based I on agree the text? To disagree with you guys, huh? Is it an accurate interpretation based on the text? With the marriage stuff, if you guys say, well, you know, that the marriage stuff is is disgusting for you guys, you know, Allah is all knowing. I don't know everything, but He has wisdom in what He does, yeah. and there's wisdom in what He why He does this for. We, I may not know it at the moment. I don't have the answer to it, and I'm not ashamed to say I don't have the answer for no, it. No, that's not what I'm asking about the I marriage. Can get you, I can give you the wisdom behind it. Belkis, Belkis, Queen of Sheba, Belkis. please. Belkis. Yeah, I'm telling, so I'm asking you based off the verb. Look, all of that was to accumulate the main point that the God that Moses revealed in Deuteronomy is mm -hmm. not the same God that Muhammad reveals in the Quran. You see, okay, you understand no the big difference there. I understand. Okay, so okay. that's what Sam's point was, is that okay, this- Okay, yeah. Okay, good. So then Deuteronomy 33 is not, it can't, it's not talking about Muhammad. It's a completely okay. different different theology, right? Okay, no problem. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So um, could you explain you this for me? How do you do that, man? Yeah, no, okay, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 Isaiah's gonna be more than don't be no die to nobody. Yeah, she's going to Isaiah 20 on supposedly the battle of Babylon. 
I've I'm, never heard these you prophecies. Everything. You guys said everything. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're going to quote Isaiah 21. That's supposedly a prophecy of the battle of Baga, right? I want to hear who he's... Who, I wanna okay, hear but am I right? I want to hear your... <laughs> okay, okay, but Keith, am I right? Isaiah you 21, ask, you you're going to think... Did you answer me? Who Dude, you can you stop proving Muhammad is right about you? Listen to what I said. You're going to quote Isaiah 21 because you think it's a prophecy of the battle of Baga, right? Yes, Muhammad exactly. fulfilled it. Oh, I've never yeah. heard that one. <laughs> He fulfilled that, that same prophecy that everything that I never heard that one. The burden of Ara upon the burden upon Arabia in the forest in Arabia shall ye lodge, O, o ye traveling companions of the, the name, the inhabitants of the land of Tima brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him they fled. Anyway, y'all know this whole entire, entire verse. Okay. Let me read it. Let me read it so people who can see. Can I read it for you to help you make your case? Yeah. yeah. Who is that to speak okay. about? Okay. Well, I'm gonna. You're gonna. You just buried the Quran again. But let me read it. Here's what she's quoting, guys. Isaiah 21. The oracle concerning Arabia, and the thickets in Arabia you will lodge, O caravans of Dedanites. To the thirsty bring water. Meet the fugitive with bread. O inhabitants of the land of Tima, for they have fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, from the bent bow, and from the press of battle. So supposedly. This is talking about Muhammad going to Medina and the battle battle. Okay. Number one, because again, they deceived you. The word Tima is not Timan. Tima is in Syria, but we'll go with Arabia. Number two, verse 16 says this prophecy would take place in the year that Isaiah prophesied. Can you show 16? For thus says the Lord, the Lord said to me, within a year, a year from when? When Isaiah prophesied. Not how many centuries? Seven, about 1400 years later. Okay, within a year, according to the years of a hired worker, all the glory of Kidar will come to an end. And it says he's going to destroy Kidar, that means he's going to destroy Muhammad, according to you. And the remainder of the archers of the mighty men of the sons of Kidar will be few, for the Lord, the God of Israel, has spoken. It's talking about a prophecy that, if you had a good commentary, would tell you took place when the Babylonians demolished despoiled and destroy the Canaanites. And it says a year from this prophecy, Isaiah wrote 700 years before Christ, 1400 years before Muhammad. You're telling me Muhammad was alive at the time of Isaiah? Okay, now I know that's you guys in, in, in um, chat. No, no, don't run yet, hold on. It says no, within no, no, a no, year, no. a year of the prophecy. Does everyone see it? Within a year. Yeah, that's right. A year no, from, no, 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 no. okay, so are you telling me that Muhammad was there at the time of Isaiah, and a year later, the Arabs, the Kenarites, were despoiled and destroyed, which means that Muhammad got destroyed because it's not a blessing. It's going to be judgment on the Kenarites. Kedar. He was not there in the year thing, but it's just, I just find it funny how Muhammad came and fulfilled his exact same prophecy. Oh, so Muhammad years. fulfilled the prophecy that's going to take place in the lifetime of Isaiah. So Muhammad pre-existed? How many lives did he have? He didn't exist. He didn't exist in that year. But the event that With, they talked about is the, is the, is the exact same event. Within a year of this prophecy, when it's written. Not now, let me ask year. you another question. Hold on. Okay, that's your question. That year part. Okay. You know Belkis, did you know Isaiah? Like Moses says, Yahweh is a father. Can you read Isaiah sixty-two? Hold on. Hold on. Isaiah 63, 16. So Moses says Yahweh is the Father, right? Yes, right. Isaiah 63, 16. Isaiah says Yahweh is the Father. Yeah. Watch here. Hold on, Blukis. Isaiah 63, 16. Watch here. What does it say? It says, for you are our father. Though Abraham does not know us and Israel does not acknowledge us, you, O Lord, are our father. So, Belkis, here Isaiah, like Deuteronomy, Moses, says, Yahweh is our father, we are his sons. Jesus confirms, the father sent me, and if you believe me, you are his sons. So, is Allah your father and the father Muhammad in the Ummah? No. Say it again. We don't, call, we don't call him dad, no. That, so, that how, how are you going to try to convince us Isaiah and Moses are going to predict a prophet who says, my God is not a father. He has no spiritual children. 
and he contradicts their view that Yahweh is I the Father. I can't make y'all see that because this is what this is what they taught y'all. This is what they wrote for y'all. You know, this is what was written for you guys. So I cannot go against okay. what is written. So for why you don't guys. you stop trying to use these books because you're gonna say they're corrupted? Okay, but, could you and could you also okay. explain? One okay, but please, before you give a prophecy, just give me a minute. I want to read something. I'm gonna read something. I'm gonna let you talk, but I want to read something. I'm gonna read something. I want to read. <laughs> no, hold on. Open up. Did you hear what I said? Open up. Okay, I'm gonna read something. Okay, don't just let me read it, and then I want you to tell me who you think it sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you. Okay, but just give me, and I'll let you ask me more. I know people are like, "Come on, man, we're killing us, Sam." <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm losing yours too. Okay, I'm gonna read some for you. Okay. Okay, you gotta tell me who this is according to Christian belief. I know you don't believe Jesus. You know, his son of God, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna read something. You ready? Uh huh. Who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? God revealed his arm, but who believed it? For he grew up before him like a young plant. So I'm going to explain some of these terms. He came out a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him. He wasn't any, anything special that we'd be drawn to him. No beauty really that we should desire him. Listen. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. So he was familiar with pain and suffering. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we see him not. So people didn't like him. And when he came around, like, oh, him again. Surely he has borne our griefs. He has carried our griefs. He carried our sorrows. But we thought he was being struck down, smitten by God, and God was afflicting him. Now watch. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our sins. Iniquities mean sins. And upon him, the discipline, the chastisement that we deserve, he took that chastisement so that he can give us peace. Peace with God. Sit down with God. And by his wounds, with his wounds, we are healed. So he suffered to heal us. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, but the Lord put on him the sin of us all. The Lord put our sins on him, meaning he suffered the punishment we deserve for our sins. Now watch. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened out his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, he opened out his mouth. Now, if you don't know anything about zoology, if you ever watch videos of shepherds that when they shear the sheep for their for their wool. The sheep is silent as it's being sheared. So he's going to be silent when people are condemning him. By okay. oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered he was cut off out of the land of the living? He was cut off. He died and he had no descendants. He was stricken, struck down for the sins of my people. That's why he was killed for the sins of my people. So they made his grave with the wicked. Because they condemned him to die with a wicked, but with a rich man in his death. A rich man buried him in his tomb. Although he himself did no violence. This is the Bible? Yes, this is reading the Bible. Let me finish it. Okay. Let me finish. He did no violence. He didn't harm anyone to deserve to be killed. And there was no deceit in his mouth. But it was the will of the Lord for him to be crushed, to crush him, to put him to grief. And he, when he, that man, offers his soul as an offering for guilt. He's going to offer his life as a sacrifice for our guilt. He will then see offspring. The one who died will now see offspring because he's going to live. And his days will be prolonged. He dies, but he comes to life. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Out of the anguish of his soul, from the pain that he suffered, he will see the result of what his death brought. And his death brought salvation, and he'll be satisfied. By his knowledge, what he experienced, by the pain he experienced, shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be righteous. By his suffering, he will make us righteous. And he will bear their sins. He will bear, carry their sins. One more uh -huh. verse. Therefore, I will divide him, divide him a portion with the many. I will give him the spoils. He will be victorious. And he will then divide the spoils with those who follow him, believe in him. She'll divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his life to death. He chose to die, and here's my reward, his reward for it. 
He was numbered with the transgressors. He was assigned to die with the wicked. He bore the sin of many. He carried their sins and he made intercession for sinners. Who is this? That sounds like the, the guy you believe in, Jesus. Say what? That sounds like the guy you believe in, Jesus. Jesus, right? Yeah. So everyone heard it. She goes, Jesus. This is Isaiah, which you're quoting, written 700 years before Jesus. This is 700 years before okay. Jesus. In Isaiah that you quoted, you just admit that sounds like Jesus. End of story for Islam. So what does it have to do? Like, okay. You didn't get it, did you? Yeah, like the, it's a prophecy of Jesus. Who but it's a die? prophecy. Jesus died on the cross for your sins to save you and came to life, which you don't accept. Okay, then no problem. I, don't, no I mean... Um, I have some. I have, I have questions. Yeah. I see you guys um, always say a lot wait, of wait, stuff. Well, you can't you, you can't just just swipe that to the side. That this also goes into the heading of this background. Why must why do Muslims reject the prophets? You they see, don't reject, you don't see, reject Jesus. Well, you do. You 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 reject you reject Jesus and the prophecy about him about him being crucified for our sins. Seven hundred years before it happened. Isaiah prophesied and foretold this would happen. Uh, do you accept this? I have to find the authenticity, the authenticity of that um, that verse and that prophecy. Um, I have not actually heard of that one before. This is my first time hearing it. This is the first so time you I, heard of Isaiah fifty three. You've been through all those yeah, Islamic websites. Let me let me write it down. Isaiah fifty three. Okay, but hold on, but please. Why didn't you try to verify the authenticity of Isaiah 21 and 42 before you quoted it? Because I did a number. Because, you know, I'm a Muslim. I believe in Islam. Oh, so Islam. she's honest, dude. She's damn honest. I'm a Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. I'm a Muslim. I only quote the Bible when it helps my Islam, case. And I strongly believe that what I what I believe in is one God. And mm -hmm. I just can't accept a, um, a triune God. You see? know, like, it never made any sense to me. It's okay. So, but but, but see, see. Can, the reason why, Bill, the reason why you remain so long is because, you know, as, as much of a, you know, sort of a headache that you give us, you're still to an extent honest. Yeah, we like that. You know? I like that. About so that's why we can, that's why you can always come back and we can talk because you're going to be honest. The reason why you didn't yeah, check and question the authenticity, the authenticity of Isaiah 21 or Deuteronomy 33 is because... It, it you thought it aligned with their views as a Muslim. Yes, it does. So it does. it's mm -hmm. it's amazing, man. That's you, I, that's you heard it here first. Point. You heard it here first, y'all. But I just wanted before I go or whatever before you guys drop me, like I hope not. Um, <laughs> I just want to address something that he always saying that Muhammad said that women have half brain, and yeah. what? Let me just explain what that means. The verse. You got to tell us what that means. But you have half yeah. brain. How do you know what it means? So, because I understand, okay, I know. What you don't you understand, understand your brain. How do you, know what you probably only understand. You probably only understand half of it. Before you make any insults, it's not like we can't understand. That's not, that's not what the prophet I'm is saying. I'm not insulting. I'm repeating what Muhammad is, said. The prophet is. There's many, many, many quotes in the Quran where they respect women a lot. But what he's really? saying here, yes, of course, there's a number, there's a, a, a big number of. He do you think that 434 is respectful? Can I finish? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. That woman have a deficiency us being able to beat you is respectful so what he's talking about here is that women are a lot more emotional than men okay That's they're right. emotional people they judge based on emotions so because of your be, emotions it makes you deficient in intelligence is he's not saying that we're any less he's just saying really? that women are yes that is yes but not and as a, as a matter of fact what, what, wait wait that, but, but, you know, don't stand we don't support um we don't support what do you call it feminism or equality good, good, good. That's, that's good that's good what does what does the and word we would never be and we don't want I, to be equal I, to I got you I got you what does the word deficiency mean it just means that they 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 they, they lack that ah, kind of they lack yes good and it, it is so, it is so, scientifically so proven what, tell, tell me what is it, it what does it mean proven. wait wait it what does proven? it mean wait that's what does it mean to lack it means that you you fall short. Yeah, and, and we accept that. We yeah, accept deficient. that. And let me finish. It's not a disrespect to women. No, it's this not. is just this, this is scientifically if, if proven. My scientifically proven. Oh. Let me finish. Women. Let me finish. Hold on, Bunkis, let me help you. It, women. <laughs> Science confirmed 
you are deficient and lacking in intelligence. Science confirms that. Hey, hold on. Let me, let me ask. Let me ask something. Hey, baby, I know that you're watching this. Uh, hold on. Let me let me address somebody. Ba baby, I know that you're watching this. If I took and text me, if I said that you're a half brain, would you still make me some lobster tail? Let just just text me that and, and, and let me know the answer to that. I want to know. He didn't Please. say half brain. He said you have a deficiency. Yeah, yeah, baby. If, if I told you, baby, you know you got a deficient mind. You know that. Would you still cook me some lobster tail after that? I want to know. I want to know if that works because Bell's putting me on game right now. So I, I just want to know that. Let me know. If you said you ha you have a, if you told me I have a half mind, would I still cook you something? No, no that's talking you. to that's his uh, fiance, his wife. Oh. Oh. Not you. He's asking her if she'd be upset. She said no lobster tail for you, okay. and she and she almost cussed at me. <laughs> Bukis, let me ask you a question. That's interesting. I, 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 I want to finish. Okay, can I ask just one question so you can answer it as you finish? So part of your answer. Bukis, this will be part of your answer. You ready? Because I'm going to ask you so you can finish. Since women lack an intelligence deficient, how do you know what you said is correct? Because you lack intelligence to know whether what you're telling me it means is the correct meaning. Go ahead. Firstly, he never said we lack intelligence. He never said that. You guys are interpreting the meaning wrong. Women are intelligent, of course, but he's just he's just saying because of the fact that we are controlled by emotional, <laughs> it controlled by our emotions, meaning we act on our emotions. Like right now, your emotions are controlling you. Well, I would I would think that maybe if I was a guy, he'd probably handle the situation a little bit more better because he doesn't have the the be he doesn't have like the emotions because women be are emotions. Be Belkis, Belkis, no like, 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 wait, Belkis, how long? Sad, wait, wait, wait. Belkis, how, how long have you been here? How long have you been in the live? I, I think probably half an hour. Or about more about less. half an hour? Okay. And, and and did you see the men before you that came up? Yeah, um, yeah, but I don't think they were respectful. Oh, but they're acting emotionally. So are they really women? You're making a crazy case for transgenderism. They probably like some testosterone. They probably do. <laughs> <laughs> so so they look, like so, so, so look, Belle. So you just proved, wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait, Bill, because I'm, I'm actually giving you a compliment here. You actually have handled yourself better than every single man exactly. that has hopped on this panel. Absolutely, proving Muhammad is wrong. You proved that Muhammad was wrong here in this hadith because you have not acted in your emotions. You've actually controlled your emotions very well, and you never, not once have you insulted, not once have you demeaned us, You've had a good time. You laughed and everything like that. You shake off the trash talk from Sam. Exactly. You have handled your emotions better than every Muslim man that has come up on this live so far, proving that what Muhammad said is full of crap. Exactly. Um, I I understand what the verse means. I understand what it means. And he said that. And he's know, wrong. It, it went on. It went on to say. It went on to say that. They are in their religion as well. And the reason why I said in our religion is because women, we have we have menses, right? But you're so no, can, listen, we're not we we're not worried about the religion. Oh. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sister, sister, hold on. You just mentioned we can't use that term. Uh no, be careful. Okay. So the monthly thing. Oh, yes. you just can use a period. Oh, okay, period. Okay. Now I want everyone to hear it. Muhammad said, because of your period periods, you're inferior in religion. But can I ask you a question? He didn't say inferior. Yes, yeah, he, so said you know, you he said deficient. deficient in religion right? and intelligence. He goes, your deficiency in religion. Hey, your deficiency in religion. He's going to show you that. The, your deficient religion is because of your period. Can you? Well, just read it if you want. Don't have it on the screen. Can you get it there? Just read it. Uh, so yeah, no, can't. Uh, Sooner.com is not working. Oh, it's not we working? Can't, we can't pray. All right. When we're, when we're unclean, we can't okay, pray. Go to my answering Islam. And we oh, can't touch sister, the code can we get Answering Islam, WordPress, you know my blog, right? Yep. Answering Islam. Okay, just hold on. Just because Sunnah.com is down. Just take it. Answering Islam. You, uh, it's showing you. Uh, no, WordPress, the bottom one. See okay. the bottom one? Right here. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to go search engine for deficient, deficient women, and then intelligence. Hold on a second. So let's get it. It's going to come up. Deficient, and then you're going to put women. And intelligence. And the article is going to come up and it's going to be there. Yeah, because Sunnah.com is down, guys. So he's going to have to just get it from my... Just one second. Okay, when you search, what came up? Uh, because you misspelled something. You misspelled intelligence. What do you want? Uh, kindergarten, dude? Uh, right there. Intelli I tell put the uh, I in. What do you want? Uh, kindergarten, dude? Now you're making a case that men are deficient. I'm telling you, I'm trying to prove Muhammad wrong. 
My whole goal is to prove that he's a false prophet. You know? Mohammed says Muslim women are stupid, crooked prisoners. So now he did not say we are stupid. <laughs> what? Hold on. Okay. You guys are so you guys are misunderstanding the okay. words. You're gonna have to yeah, that's the article. He does. He says he's stupid. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. He says stupid, but oh. if you want to find it fast, you do command F. All right, command F. Unless it's synonymous, yeah, you it's, do control. control F, right? Now put in deficient. D E F I C I. Right there, it's gonna take you there. Uh, go uh, go to the, click again to the other one. Click again. Yeah, you click again on here, and it's gonna take you on okay. the box. You click on the box. Oh. Yeah, right there in the box. I'm confused, man. You talking about this right here? Yeah, yeah. And okay. you click, and it's gonna take you to the next one. Okay. Click. See? Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Now is that it? Go to the next one. All right. Yeah, hold on. We gotta find it. It's an article system. Well, go all, ahead again. All four of the okay. Uh, yes. Well, hold on. Just put in Bukhari. Just put Bukhari. Hold on, sister. See what you do to us? You made us see. We're, we're proving we're, we're stupid, not women. Just put Bukhari. Okay. Sorry, you see? Efficient in Bukhari? Or just no, just put that. Bukhari. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. No, I'm saying we are proving Muhammad is wrong. Look how stupid we are. Two of us and we can't figure it out. I know Jesus loves me, guy. I know Jesus loves me, y'all. Okay, I, I love Jesus, too. Why All you right, go back, to, go back. We're gonna, okay, take care of sister. Take care of sister. Go back to the... Uh, sorry. See, We want to show you that because... We don't want to lose the bone. Hold on, people. Yeah, click on it. Go, did Muhammad teach women are inferior? That one. Now okay. put that one. Now put Pukhat. Okay. Take it easy. I got so many acronyms, I even forget. I think Muhammad is wrong. I think I'm stupid. Did you spell Bukhari right? Yes, yeah, Muhammad's wife was an intelligent woman. Oh, That's why she was the first time. Huh? So obviously okay, he's not saying that Muhammad is stupid. There's two of them. All right. Here, what does it say? So it says, the prophet said... Isn't the uh, witness of a woman equal to half of that of a man? Yes. The woman said, yes. He said, this is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. Now, click Bukhari again. All right. I'm go where it says, why you're... Okay, now, here you go, right there. Right. All yeah. right. The okay, here thing. it is. This is Bukhari. <laughs> okay. Uh, he said, so Muhammad says, <laughs> as I have seen, the majority of dwellers of hell were women. Were you women? You know why? Okay, let's finish today. it, Balkis, please. Yep, they are half naked all over the world. Can the, we the, finish the, it, Balkis? I'm just gonna go into hell. Everything is naked. Can we finish it, Balkis? He's talking to a Muslim. So he Everything says. Everything is a naked woman. Can we Obviously. finish it, Balkis? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, clubs, can we finish it, Balkis? Come on, man. Oh, come on. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. So he says. Oh, they asked, why is it so, Allah's apostle? He replied, because look at how many of you guys in the 21st century are walking around half naked. No. no exactly. Wait, I'm sorry. That's not what the hadith says. Sorry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Don't throw her off, dude. She's going to get thrown. Listen to what he says. He replied, you curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence. And a religion than you. A cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you. Watch, watch what happens. Well, hold on, wait. He said, No, so they asked, What is the deficiency of, in, in our intelligence? He said, It's not the evidence of two women equal to the witness of one man. They said, Yes. He said, This is a deficiency in your intelligence. Now, watch what he says about periods. All right. So uh, they said, <clears throat> he said, isn't, isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menses? Yeah, periods? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so you got it. That's what I'm saying. Now, this is what he what? says. And that's the reason why. Let that. him finish. This is what? This is the deficiency in your religion. So your prophet said, because of your periods, you're deficient, inferior in religion. Why is Allah blaming you for something beyond your control? You have no He's control. He's not blaming us. <laughs> He's not blaming you, us for anything. I, I, you made it up. Yeah, what, you can made you read it again? Okay, let me speak here, now. Here. Okay, oh my God, I've read that verse a million times, guys. He's gonna I've read, read that verse a million times. No one is saying that we're not going to get any blessings for, for things. Whenever we pray, we get blessings. Why, we get is Allah, why is Allah blaming you 
He's not blaming us. Yes, he says, this is why you're deficient in religion and why most of you are in hell. That's the reason. Why you're in hell. He never said that's why we're in hell. Am I am I like blind or something? Yes, or, okay. yes, yes, you can't see. Okay, so when it so, begins, oh woman, give all as I've seen that the majority of the dwellers of Hellfire were you women. Yes. And they asked why, and then why? he gives these reasons. Because they were ungrateful yes. because they were ungrateful to their husbands. And they also because uh, No, and then the other one was the deficiency in the religion. So that hold that on, let me ask you something. Men are ungrateful to their wives. How come they're not the majority? Let me tell you, let me, I don't know if you're unaware, but let me tell you this, right? It is, it is scientifically and historically proven that you cannot please a woman ever. You hear that, ladies? You scientifically, you can't please scientifically, you psychologically, you science confirms ask, you women be, can never be pleased. You are stupid. Science confirms mom is right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you can't please a woman. That's just facts. And some, a lot of us are, for when we look at it, we're not humble, we're not grateful, we're not like, you know, there's, I mean, there are women who are like, um, generally. Not my girl. My girl is humble. My girl is quiet. Yes, my girl are. is they meek. Are. Are. She's beautiful. She loves the Lord. No, science proves she's the stupid. Oh, the science. And she, in watch to be married, she's never going to be grateful enough because you cannot do enough. Science confirms Muhammad is right, mister. Mm. You gonna go against science? Yeah, I'm going yeah. against science. Go, I, this is Islamic I, science. Is this science Sahih or Daif? But this is, this, I'm telling you guys. No, this is it agrees with Bukhari, so it's Sahih and it's Mutawatir. Okay, sister, we're gonna, if we're done, we're gonna go somewhere else, but we appreciate you. Come back again. Hey, howdy, partner. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, one more, another insult that you guys oh, no. do. Uh, um, we didn't, we didn't bring that up. No, yeah. no, no. Well, let's do that another time. Hang on another time. Be 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 look, look. Next time we can I talk. Will about explain but, one, okay, I got you. I, I got you. Leave. Next I'll time, leave. next time we'll talk about child marriage in Islam. Okay? Fair enough. No, we'll I, I, I just want to say that. I just want to say that Aisha back in the days. No, no, Bell, Bell, Bell. Why are you? Are you not listening? Save it for next time. Okay. Okay, 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 guys. It was nice talking and to you. By the way, the keys. Science also confirmed that what Muhammad did to Aisha was a miracle because women appreciate when you marry them when they're nine. Okay, we'll talk oh about it next time. Oh my God! You see, you 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 need to um you need to control your your mouth. Oh, you, you, but, but, preacher, but, preacher, but 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 look, look, preacher, but look, but look, Look, you have to be nice look, to look, look at how she's in control of her emotions. That's right. I like Look that. at that. You're wonderful. And you're not reacting like the men that reacted here, even I'm when, the, even, even when, you know, you, 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 you just proved that Muhammad was wrong in that idea. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Bill. Right, Bill. Hey, Bill, I, I'm, I'm letting you down. Thank you so much for coming through. You can come back yeah. next time. Okay, we'll sure, talk no about problem. it. Have a wonderful night. You too, you too. We'll see you again, Sister Governor. If I want to die and meet Jesus sooner than later, I'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs> See, she'll have to. If I want you to send me to an early grave, I'll talk to you again. <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Uh, you, what do you, you want to say at the same time, or you want to go with something else? It's up to uh, you. Yeah, we could. We could. Because you're uh, gonna let me know when you want to head out to do what we gotta do. It's up to you. All right. Well, we're having. I'm having a good time here. Let's yeah. see here. All right. So, so you wanna, same here. topic. Or, okay, maybe yeah, because contra dao. Contra dao means against dao. <laughs> It's central now. Oh, okay. Central now. Let's see if he's going to focus on. Yo, what's Yo, going on? central. You know what? Yeah, what's good? yeah. What's good? What's good? So, man, we're asking about 616, about where, where does Jesus mention Ahmed to come? Chapter 61, verse 6, where it says, uh, I remember when Jesus said that there was going to be a messenger to come after me whose name will be Ahmed. Yes. Where does Jesus, where do we find Jesus making this claim? Uh, good question. So, uh, number one, uh, you're presupposing that the gospel you have right now is I the haven't gospel. presupposed anything. Here we go again. I just, uh, I just uh, asked the question. I think he's intelligent. Okay, okay, okay. So we believe, we think that there's uh, some reminiscence some of what? it. Like, for some example. Reminiscence. Some, some reminiscence. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the, the ones that agree with your Quran, yeah, circular reasoning, and you're talking about presupposition, but go ahead. Yeah, this is more of a theological claim. Yeah. Okay, so where does the corrupt Gospels contain that nugget of truth that Jesus prophesied Muhammad? Uh, there's remnants all over the Bible. Okay, give us, see, I just said where. Don't tell me wherever. 
Give me the precise verse. And specifically central of Jesus. I mean, you can take, for example, like John 14, 16, etc. You sure you want to take that? All right, so uh, oh. I'm just telling you my no. position. Well, wait, 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 wait. Give it to yeah. us. So, so, your position. so just to be clear, your position, you believe that John 14 accurately <laughs> prophesied. So all all revealed John chapter Nobody 14. Said accurately. Sam, Sam said from the corrupted gospel. Yeah, because that's I what said you said. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and did you finish what I said? You, you, you look, Central, you, you said in the gospel, there are, yeah, Sam said there the are remnants gospel. of the truth, of the true gospel. That's yes, right. So he's asking you, okay, you're you saying that the gospel no, 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 is true. No, 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 logic. Nobody said true gospel. Sam said corrupted gospel. No, I no, finish what I said. Don't be like your prophet. Finish my statement. What did I say? You said from the corrupted gospel. Finish the entire song. sentence. It's recorded. What did I say? Okay. Go ahead. Finish it. I apologize. Okay, ahead, because, yes, I know you're not listening. I said, show me where in the corrupted gospels are those nuggets of truth that you believe mention Muhammad. Okay, so you I said, said truth, corrupted. nuggets of truth. So you said John 14. So you stick with so that? So you did say corrupted. Can you get to the point before I know I shish kebab your Quran? Okay, can you get to the point? Uh, uh, okay, but you try to. Okay, can you get to the verses I, I we that were, you believe we have be those reminiscences like. of truth where Jesus predicted the PDF prophet? We're waiting. Ooh. Can you stop feeling to emotion like Aisha? You, can you get to the topic? I told you you can find reminiscence okay. of it in John. Give me 14, the verses. Do you have an argument against it? No, what, is, what, is your, what is your argument? You, you already words. admitted it's corrupt. Open up your toilet paper, chapter 5, verses 46, 47. Read it for me. But, no, 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 no. You already I'm going to block you. I'm going to send you to Mecca if you don't open up Surat al Maida, 5, okay. 46, 47. Uh, uh, open we up Surat al Maida, 5, 46, 47, so I can now barbecue your prophet. I thought we were talking about the Paraclete. Go yeah. to your toilet paper and open it up for me, please. Sam, why are you running? Okay. I'm running like Aisha did from your PDF. -er. Open up. So that they might not. This guy, is this how you speak to children? Is this how you speak to That's how your prophet spoke to Aisha when he mounted her. Can you go now to chapter 5 and read? Because I'm going to show you you're a liar because your Quran says my gospel uncropped and buries your prophet. Open up. So that might not. Okay, so Sam Shimon cannot open up Surat al Maida. Okay, buddy, uh, this guy gonna start manifesting? Like mm -hmm. Aisha. No, I'm, I'm, I'm making it. Surat al Maida, because you keep saying corrupted. Surat al Maida. Okay, if you wanna waste our time with this guy? So, so where are we at? Sam is because the tower, he keeps saying the gospel is corrupt. Look so now he uses Quran to show that his pdf -er, who mounted a nine year old, said it's not corrupt. Look at him running. He's okay. manifesting. Open up Surat 5. Why are you scared of the Quran? We hate the Quran. You should be proud of your toilet paper. Open up, sir. Okay, read it for why, read why it the Sam Down, girl. Like we're going to read it for you. Down, girl. Like Remember what mama said to do to black dogs. Take it easy. So, wait, wait, wait. Let's, 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 let's chill. Let's chill. Let's so, work. all right. So, what we're going the to the, man, to the, the man, man, is crazy. Okay. So, got it. Okay. So, John Sam, 14 was brought up, and then he said it's corrupt. Yeah, he's just too scared. He's scared like Aisha. So, open up Quran. Very, very simple question. Sam, do you need... Yeah, well, we were talking about... Yeah, I'm going to use like your prophet to shut you up. So if you don't like your prophet, I don't like him either. Yeah, 5, 46, says, 46. Sam, do you need my Quran? Uh, no, the, actually, the you need it. You need you your Quran to wipe you like your us. 546 to 47. Read it for us. Sam, do you need my Quran to prove your Gospels? Yeah, I'm then right. in the footsteps of the prophets, you send <laughs> Jesus, answer. son of Mary, confirming the Torah between his hands. Can you and answer we gave him the Gospel, confirming... Containing guidance and light, confirming what was revealed to her between his hands, a guide and lesson to the God fearing. Now, stone kisser, here's the verse. But let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it, and those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed, they are what? Because your error is in the way, are truly the rebellious. I don't need your Quran, but your Quran is going to now bear you. You need your Quran. So, what gospel were they to judge by at the time of your prophet? Didn't the same. Prophet what Muhammad gospel were they to Muhammad judge by at the time of your prophet? Okay, can I can I speak? Yeah, can you not bark and I, just I, answer? I, I literally just let you finish. Can I speak? Okay, answer the question. Let's see. Okay. The same Muhammad that you're quoting. The same different character. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Look, he's manifesting. Yeah, manifest like your prophet did who phoned he's at the house. He's manifesting. 
Like he phoned at the mouth. Did your Sam, prophet phone at I the know, mouth? I know it's easy. Can you answer the question, girls, Ibn Murtab? Speak English. Answer the question. Why don't you actually speak to someone who can uh, contend with you, Sam? Okay. So, it's easy uh, to talk to 18-year-old girls so, who barely so, speak so, English. No, actually so, easier to talk to a 9-year-old. Your so, prophet so, knew. He so, mounted right, her. So, so let's, 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 let's do talk, this. Sam. Let's, 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 let's talk. Let's talk one-on-one. So, on so, all right. So I'm trying to figure out where we're at. Okay. I left the room. Okay, let me explain. You, you mentioned so, John 14. Because this guy, remember, he strikes a crown, so he's discombobulated. Uh, okay. When we went to John 14. Yeah, then he brought okay, he brought up he the He says, your gospel I'm... is corrupted, so he doesn't want to give us verses where he believes those reminiscences of truth are there that point to the PDF for prophet. So now the silence is barking. I'm saying, it's wait, corrupted. then you're saying now your crown is trash because your crown says the gospel is not corrupt. So who should I trust, your fake God or you? So now he's not manifesting like Muhammad did when he phoned at the mouth. So now, so now we're caught up. Okay. Okay. So, have, have so, I, so let, let's try, let's try to go back to square one. Time. Yeah, so let's try to go back to square one. No, I have not. Sam, have some decorum. Yeah, okay. so, so central, central. The, no, no, we're we're, we're, we're going to go back. Let's be honest. We're going to go back. Just talk to me. I'm being nothing but fair. Talk to me. We're going to go back to square one. Where does Jesus mention the coming of Ahmed? Where do we find this and making this claim? Yeah, I answered that question. You find reminiscence of it, and Sam agreed with me that. Yeah. Okay, you now find give it us the verse again. Yeah. What verse was it? Yeah, what, what, yeah, okay. So what's, the, the, what's verse. the verse that you believe are the reminiscence of Allah's revelation where Jesus prophesied the coming of Ahmed? Yeah, I said, I said you can you can find reminiscence. Of of uh, these prophecies in John fourteen okay. and etc. Okay, so all right, good. So John fourteen. So these remnants in John fourteen, you believe, are revelations of Allah, correct? Uh, no, 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 no. I said reminiscence. Can you send them to my therapist? No, 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 no. no. Nah, you <laughs> Sam, it's Sam. Sam. Come on, oh, Sam. Sam. I want to talk to Sam. Take it easy. It's the I black stone is calling you. Take it easy. So, so wait, wait, Sam. This is, this is a dream of mine, Sam. I want to talk to you, Sam. So, so wait, so wait, so wait. I want to talk to Sam. But wait, but wait man, because it's not going too well right now. So look, you said that Jeff, when I asked you, where do we find these remnants of truth in the gospel? And you said you'll find them in chapter John chapter 14 and etc. So you yeah. believe that in John chapter 14, there are remnants of the true prophecies of Muhammad. So okay. can you I affirm said, that? Like you believe that these remnants in John 14 are revelations of, from Allah? No, I said remnants. What, remnants remnant, what, what, is, what, do you, what does remnant mean? Revelation. Say that again. I said they're remnants. Remnants does not mean identical revelation. What is remnants? What is that? Uh, it means they're illusions. Within a remnants doesn't mean illusions. illusions. No, no, no. Remnants doesn't mean illusions. Remnants means there's there's still nuggets or pieces of the of the whole. A remnant right, exactly, is like a piece exactly. of the whole. And and so it's not an illusion, it's an actual just piece of truth. They are somewhat implicit references that contain um uh content. So I'm asking you this again. In John 14, in these remnants. These pieces of the truth that you're saying are found in John, are these actually are these prophecies of Muhammad? Yes or no? They're remnants. I didn't ask. I that. say they're I, remnants. I, 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 prophecies. Central. Are they? Are these remnants prophecies of Muhammad? Yes or no? They're reminiscence of the prophecies. Yes. You want to stay here till midnight, or? Okay. <laughs> Hey, you got uh, you, uh, Sam. You're getting pushback. You're getting scared. You're, 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 you're running. Sam is running. Look at him. He's trying to. Get I'm you. running like Aisha when Sam your is dog running. monitor. <laughs> 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 Sam, talk to me one on one, Mister Shamoon. Talk. One more time, Sid Joe. Because I love you. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. I try, buddy. Please. Remnants I love and reminiscence. No, I love you, buddy. Please. The guy <laughs> is foaming at the mouth like mom. Yeah, please. Sam, the guy no. is so stupid, he made women look intelligent. <laughs> what about Bill? Oh, no, Bill Keish. Was... And then secondly, he's so stupid, he made Muhammad seem like he was literal. I love you. I try. I yeah, no, no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so who's next? <sighs> Do you want to go into a dumb talk about Jesus or something about where Jesus claims to be God according to their toilet paper? 
Yes. What's up, Larry? Larry! Ah! What's up, man? I got a roof break. Come on, I got a roof. Okay, what's up, friend? Please. You okay? Don't make my blood pressure go in the air. We can, we, can, we can hear you. I don't know. It's fun. So he's, he's asking, his question is, what's your question? Okay, so we want to change it? All right. You want to you want to answer the question moment, or you want me to go to another topic, which you all want? Wait, can you guys hear me? Sorry, I don't know if my audio is going through. Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Well, I, yeah, 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 I said I don't think your blood pressure can get any higher, but um, no, I'd like you, to address. Sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I'd like to address your argument on chapter 5, verse 47, quote-unquote confirming yes. the New Testament text. Yeah, no problem. So do you mind if I put my camera on for a second so I can you know show my screen while I'm speaking? My camera while I'm speaking what so I can say? show while I'm speaking. asking to show his camera. You can show your camera. Yeah, go ahead. So no, just, yeah, yeah, just so I'm not like, yeah. yeah, go ahead. You're not going to be big screen? Okay, that's not a problem. Give me just one second. Um, <laughs> Beautiful. So chapter 40, uh, chapter 5, verse 47, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. So do you want to go ahead and make the argument and then I'll respond to it? How no, this you, you, heard, you heard the argument. What's your response? No, I want him to repeat it in case there's new people. So just to clarify, no, you just say it's people, yeah. your, argument, your argument is that chapter 5, verse 47 to 48 confirms the New Testament text, correct? No. What I said was when you what Muslims is, lie and say the gospel's corrupt, the Quran says the gospel's not corrupt because it existed at the time of Muhammad. So what was that gospel? Beautiful. So what is, yeah, just one second. Great, great, great. So when you so make this argument, gospel? just let me, just one second. So I'll answer the question by going one verse before. If we take a look at chapter 5, verse 46, <laughs> it says. Exactly. Uh, which I quoted. Yeah. Just one second. Allow me to finish. Give me some respect to finish. So if we take yeah, a look we, at we, 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 we like quoted this, right? Yeah, I, know, I, just, really I want to he's lower it. Oh, so he's like a uh, Muhammad narcissist? If yeah. you, okay. Instead of insulting. Can you respect. get to the point for the love of your God? Get yeah, to so the, the point. point. Start manifesting. I know the genie is possessing you. Okay, you said to me which is which in jail, so I'm telling you, I'm educating you. In okay, chapter five, can you go to 46, which I read and explained? I'm going to 46. Right. Allow me to finish. Have some respect, okay? I like to respect my elders, but they need to respect me. Oh, Omar, Omar. But Muhammad didn't respect anyone. He murdered them and Muhammad them. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that's get great. Get to the passage. If you shut your mouth, I'll respond. No, so, Muhammad will shut Aisha's mouth in hell when he mouths her in hell. Get to the best 46. Chapter 5. 46, yeah. 46, 47, go ahead. Moderate says that. Yeah, get to the passage. Yeah, we're just waiting for you to quote the verse, bro. Like, stop I'm wasting time. Muted. I'm getting muted by a moderator. Yeah, you are getting I'm muted because you're running your mouth. Get to the I'm verse. trying to speak. Okay, thank you. So, chapter 5, verse 46 says the Injil was something given to Isa from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, just one second. No, read it, coward. Read it. Okay, read 46, 47, coward. Yeah, Gahbe, one second. He so says, just called his mother a whore. Yep. I never, he I just never said, said his mother is a kahba. His mother is a kahba. Because, because Muhammad is a whore, kahba. I never I said your mother. That's just a lie. You just said in Arabic, you said your mother is kahba. Man. For those of you who know Arabic and Assyrian, sorry about that. The word kahba means prostitute. Can I say that? No. Okay. No, but that's what it is. So you guys heard, right? He just called me what the Shia called his mother and what Muhammad called Aisha. That's what it is. I just when you know that word, just for future reference. If you heard them say kahba, yeah. that's what it means. All right. You alright, man? No. <laughs> yeah, all right. Right. I'm 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 just guys. And so they these are supposed to be some of their best. The, this these the Kahbe? Yeah, yeah. The Kahbe. Yeah, they're supposed to be some of their best. You Kahbe, sons of Kahba, like your prophet Kahba, you're the best. That's why Islam's being destroyed and buried by the power it's of supposed Jesus. Supposed to be Christ. their best, man. Glory to so, Jesus. We're burying Islam because Muhammad is in hell. Libby's here again. Who's Libby? Libby, the guy who came up here cussing uh, oh. yesterday. Yeah, Libby. And you, man, we were having this so, time. So, so life, life is here, guys. Life, Libiano, remember that live that he had, mm -hmm. and and uh, to bring brought me up, and what what was he doing? Was he you know cussing me out and just brought me up just to cuss, not to, not to get into the conversation? Yep. What do you th what is he doing here? Hey, did did he did or don't they tell people not to come to the live? What's he yeah. doing here? Tell people not to talk to you. Not why he is. Mashallah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Sambo Sam, are you a kahba too, Sambo Sam? You keep manifesting. I know I live in your head. Go find you a girlfriend or a wife. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Let's bring up to, PLA. So they're supposed to not sit with you. Too. Not sit with me. So I, why, I, are they coming I, why are they coming to sit with me, man? It's haram. Wow. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as PLO. How you been, man? Good. How you been, God? I've been good. Been good. Been good. God logic, bro. Yeah, God, you got to make sure you put it together. Just call me Avery, though. You can call me Avery. <laughs> what is it, Avery? Yeah, he stopped that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, my, my name's Avery, bro, if that's easier. 
Why are you laughing, bro? Yeah, for crazy. sure. I'll be honest, Dave. I mean, I thought yeah. you were, I mean, you're, you're cool, but I didn't think you were hanging out with somebody like this, spreading Islam. Well, so yeah. do you, uh, look, Biela, we're not going to do this? Yeah. If Do you have something that you want to add to the conversation or? You yeah, know? yeah, I do, actually. So before okay. uh, the guy you guys just dropped, before him, that guy was spot on the money. John 14 through 16. Excellent, this is Omar. You believe that's Muhammad? Oh, that's not Omar. That's Oh, where was it? Hey, it's, you're talking to PLO, by the way. Oh, this yeah, is okay, a, PLO. That's, that's Muhammad, right? That's and, and Muhammad? You know, logic, I'm going to talk to you because you're a respectful right, guy. Right, so right. this is what it comes down to. John 14 through 16 states that there's right. going to be, you know what, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to grab my other device. All right. All right. I, I just want to let you know, bro, you're already doing better than Central. Good job. Yes. Uh, because you actually gave us the references. And you're actually about, you're actually going, like you're actually about to pull something up. I don't know why Central, why you didn't do that, man. <laughs> I'm gonna quote John, but it's distorted. Yeah, and only rem remnants. So it's not remnants, but reminiscence. Yeah, but you know that's remnants. It's, it's, it's remnants of remnants. Remin remin so it's remembering. It's no, it's remnants of reminiscences. It's not a prophecy, though. You got It's not a prophecy. Central, my God. This is a remnant of whatever. It's not a prophecy. It's not a prophecy. No, because remember, you have to sound like they're speaking Quran in English. But that's what <laughs> what you guys man. Uh, why do you hate the Quran so much, man? Man, you're Islamophobes, man. dude. Central, my guy. You know I love you, man, but that's not good, bro. What happened? We're waiting for him. Is it a remnant of And then if you're done with him, because he doesn't want to talk, he's, uh, he wants to talk to you. So then we can do a G if you want. It's up to you. Cause I'm enjoying this, brother. I hope you are. I'm, I'm having the best time. They're Actually, if you're still here tomorrow, with hey man, yeah, we're going. I'm here till Monday. I can't even sit by the pool here. But you know what? They called me Akhba and I lost sleep. Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> See, they don't know. Our feelings are hurt. Yeah, man. but they don't know, right? Uh, uh, they won't know what that word is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I can use that because it's Arabic, right? Yes. yes okay, yeah. guys. They hurt my feelings. They called me Akhba. <laughs> I heard worse things from my mother and my ex-wife. Okay. Why have I brought my pain? What's what's crazy is that even even Bell even Bell was able to go in. No, she and proved Muhammad is a false prophet. She mm -hmm. proved that the men are stupid. Yes, half brain. Right, so I, I the men I'm don't last myself. long, but Bell Bell lasted like more than yeah, more, like me? an hour of the life. All right, what's up, Pielo? You hear me? Yes, I hear you. All right, so I just pulled up uh, John fourteen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read from 15 here. So right. John 15, it states, if you love me, keep my commands. Then 16 continues and says, and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. Mm. Uh, 17 states, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. Mm. But you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. All right. 18 states, I will not leave as orphans. I will come to you. In the 19th well, well, just to let you know, uh, you, you read the relevant verses for now. So, so the comforter here, you believe that that's Muhammad? Yeah, so a lot of Christians, I've debated on these lives, a lot of Christians state that uh, it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, well, let's, in the whole yeah, before, Holy Spirit. yeah, before we get is to, this? before we get to who it actually is, let's, let's see if it can be Muhammad at all. So the descriptions here that's given, it says that I will ask the father and he will give you another helper. So do you believe that? The father is the one who sent Muhammad? The father being God, yes. So you believe that Allah is the father? I believe that Allah is God, the one and only true yeah, God. Yeah, but this, this says the father specifically. So do you believe that Allah is the father who sent Muhammad? So unfortunately, like the other guy was saying, this is, these are traces because there is corruption in the See? Bible. We there we go, guys. Out. Corruption. Showing that they just buried the Quran. So, the Bible's Quran. But yeah. P PLO is somebody we can reason with. And so, so PLO, look. I mean, I, I speak the truth here. I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah. known over time yeah, so, because we can't. So, so I'm going to reason with you, bro. I'm going to reason with you. Yeah, let's, so, let's focus here. Yeah, so, and I'm not even, I'll be honest, logic. I'm not even a scholar. I don't even study. Yeah, I know, bro. I, I know, I know. I love you, man. So This, look, is, your, this is your average, it's average. I, me too. I'm an average guy too, man. Uh, so, so, so look, so, so look, point, so look. PLO. Go ahead. According to now, notice when we asked the question and you said the guy was spot on and then you brought these verses out and you said, yep. yes, this is talking about Muhammad. But now in the very beginning, when I ask you the first question of the first sentence of it, 
You're saying now that that's corrupted. What you brought up is corrupted. Yeah, but this is the Bible. This is your Bible. So I'm but, picking up your Bible. So how, how does that make sense? If, if, you're, if, if you ask me, show me a prophecy about Jesus. And I say, okay, yeah, I'm going to take you to Isaiah 53. And then you quote me the part in Isaiah 53, some verse or whatever. Uh, and I say, uh, well, yeah, see, that part's corrupted. But these are these are passages that I quoted to you. Right. I see what you're saying, Logic, but at the end of the day, I'm not the, the Christian here. I don't follow the Bible. So it's the burden is on the Christian to prove that this is not Muhammad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, so you say for us to prove theory. it's not Muhammad? Yes. Okay. So if we prove it's not Muhammad, you're going to say it's corrupted, right? No, it's claiming here that Jesus is promising the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, it's not the Holy okay, Spirit. Okay, I want to get to that. I want to get to that. But I want everyone to hear what he said. So prove from hold these on, texts is not Muhammad. You, John 14, 17. John 14, 17 says, the spirit of truth was with the disciples at that time. So Muhammad was there? Read it. John 14, 17. The world cannot receive him. Because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives, dwells with you, and will be in you. So Muhammad was there, right? It's not the so, Holy Spirit, it's Muhammad. Well, he was there? My, my friend, my friend, this is what it comes down to. The, the Holy Spirit, from my understanding, has been here way before. We're not asking we're not a question. So the PLO, we're not talking about the Holy Spirit. We're talking, you're still, you told us, it's on us. So, look, the look, it's you told us, PLO, you told us that it's upon us to prove that it's not Muhammad. So he's doing that right now. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll okay. play along. I'll, I'll, All right, okay. so in verse 17, it says that the spirit of truth lives with the disciples. So we asked you, was Muhammad living with the disciples? No, no, it wasn't. So then this can't be about Muhammad, so right? Thank you. So what other well, if the Bible wasn't corrupt, I can go with it. <laughs> hey, the Bible's corrupt. Yeah, because if the Bible we accept it shows Muhammad is an antichrist, which he is. All right. What, you have any other statements from Jesus? Yeah, I mean, guys, I gotta, yeah. The Bible, I, I looked, I, I'll be honest, I looked into this a little more. The original Bible does, does stem from, hold on, I think it's Codex. Sinaiticus. Codex Sinaiticus? It's Codex Sinaiticus, yes. And, yeah. Codex and, and it says the exact same thing that we have here in the Codex Sinaiticus. That it says famous. that the spirit of truth lives with the disciples. It says that in the Codex Sinaiticus, bro. Let me go back to this. Yeah, you can go back. So this is not about yeah. Muhammad. So do you have any other verses? Well, it's about the Holy Spirit that you guys claim. Okay. So wait, wait. Before that, yeah. Seth, yeah. We, let's, what yeah. is that? Let's, okay, let's first. What does the Holy Spirit got to do with your saying you. it's Muhammad? We'll talk about the Spirit after you first acknowledge this is not Muhammad, right? Well, you got to remember in 16, it states, it states, I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help with you and be with you forever. The spirit of the truth. And then finish so, it. And was that advocate with the disciples? Finish the very verses you're quoting. Well, I'm telling you that the, that he was asking the father to give another advocate. And, and was he already there? My, my friend, let me, let me explain this. Can you read the verses? Wait, read both verses. You stopped at 16. Read. 17 which you did not read because this same advocate is there with the disciples read 17 read it you read in your so 17 yeah. 17 states the spirit of truth so this is claiming Keep that this reading is don't stop read my, my friend you gotta can relax. you finish the verse dude you, he worked you up <laughs> can <laughs> you finish the, the verse yeah you know, you know, you know, seriously i announced for you you know last time we spoke we, we was able to I was able to reason with you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so your point is needed for a reason. I understand he's emotional, but hey. No, no, no finish that's, the that's, verse. Just, just please, like you're quoting the verse and you're stopping it. like midway. Can you just finish the verse so you can have the full understanding of it? I mean, I, I said the verse. I'm going to say it again in case you guys didn't hear yeah. it. Yeah, all the way to 17. Specifically, John 17. <clears throat> the spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. So he lives with you. So if it's Muhammad, was he living with them? That's the verse 17 that you read. He was living with mankind, yes. Oh, so Muhammad was there. Wait, so Muhammad was there with the disciples living with them? No, Muhammad came after, like a state. Okay, so, okay, so 
since Muhammad came after, I mean, Jesus says like, that the spirit of truth yeah, lives with logic. them, so it can't be Muhammad, right? Yeah, but lo logic, you're picking and choosing what verses I'm you picking to and choosing. You quoted 16 I'm and 17. I'm and choosing. Guys, he quoted yes, John 14, 15. 16, no, 17. No, no, I'm, I'm picking saying, and choosing. I'm telling you, you got to focus on 16. Well, yeah, wait, so now, wait, are you now picking and choosing what to focus on, or are you? So my question to you Wait, 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 PLO, which one of us is picking and choosing now? Because you said we could only focus on 16. Roger, hear, hear me out. I'm telling you that the, he's saying that the Father, you will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. Okay. And he, okay, and he continues to say to help you and be with you forever. Uh-huh. So to be with, wait, to be with who forever? Yeah. With mankind. Wait, wait, who's the you that he's talking to? So this is Jesus promising the Holy Spirit. To who? Oh, he said, I thought it wasn't the Holy Spirit. Ah, I thought it wasn't the Holy Spirit. Time, in Islam, we don't believe it's the Holy Spirit. We but you just read it. You're, you're reading it and saying it's the Holy Spirit. So I'm confused. No, I'm reading the Bible. This is what the Bible's teaching okay. the, the people. Okay, yeah. so let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So according to the Bible, trust me, I'm going to let you go. Trust me, I'm going to let you go. But I just want to add, I just want to hear this, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so the Bible says the correct. <laughs> I can't do this. You can't so look, look, here's my question. Here's my question. This is, what, this is what it comes down to. So BLO, are you saying that the Bi according to the Bible, just the Bible, says that the spirit of truth it, it's talking about the Holy Spirit according to the Bible? It states right here, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Got it. Bible. So according to the Bible, it's the Holy Spirit, right? Correct. All right, beautiful. Okay, then that's not Muhammad. Okay, so according to Islam, though, because the Bible is corrupt, like we all know, this is the Prof Prophet Muhammad because he will come to you in the future and he will be with you forever. Okay, good. So, sure, I got you. Let me, hold on, let okay. me finish. Right, come, come I'm here. trying to tell you that Islam was sent, and on top of that, it's wow, been wow. with us ever since it was sent. Okay, good. Right? Okay, gotcha. on top of that, there's another verse, and I believe it's... Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Before, yeah, before you go anywhere. Before, before, before you go anywhere. Go ahead, go ahead. He said... According to Islam, this is about Muhammad and the coming advent of Islam. Right. Can you show me where in the Quran it says that John 14, verses 16 to 17 is about Muhammad? So in the Quran, it doesn't state the, the specific verse. So it states, I think it's Surah 61. Six, yeah. 61 verse 6. So, so now we're being now we're going to be more specific now because 61 6 buries you. Where in 61 6 does it say? John 14 is talking about Muhammad. Or if we're talking, if you're saying that this is referring to this, where in the world do I see him say Ahmed? Yeah. And I have a question. So, so, uh, so to answer your second question before we get to that, is uh, Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah 42. Uh, that's not Jesus. My, my friend, Isaiah 42 specifically. We just dealt with Isaiah 42. Don't run there. Deal with the Jesus saying hey, if Ahmed. He wants to say Jesus is talking. He's proving Jesus. Is, is I, in Isaiah 42, is that Jesus speaking? Say that one more time in Isaiah 42 as yeah, well. Yeah, is that Jesus speaking? Is Jesus the one like giving that prophecy about mom? No, my understanding okay. is Isaiah 42 comes from. All right, uh, so, 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 then, so then that's irrelevant then, bro. Okay, okay. Bill, I want to ask you a question. Well, hold on. Let me, let well, me, no, let because me you went to Isaiah 42. That's not what 61 6 says. 61 6 says Jesus mentioned okay. Ahmed, not Isaiah. Jesus said Ahmed. Isaiah is not Jesus. Can you show us? Jesus mentioning Ahmed in the Bible. Yes or no? In the Old Testament and in, in Isaiah. I don't Isaiah think you're about to make me 61 6 says Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Your Quran 61 6 said Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Can you show me where Jesus mentioned Ahmed? So let me hold on. Let me pull up 61 6. So yeah. This is Surah Saf. Surah 60, yes. Surah Saf 61 6. Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Okay, so this is 61 I promise you, when you get my age, you're going to be cussing people out, blocking them. Oh, <laughs> there, right? Okay, 61 6. I mean, guys, I get you can't handle the truth sometimes. Yeah, we can. I know. You're bearing us. Okay, I know. I'm a cop. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Just read it, man. Just read it, Pio. Please. <laughs> please. Just read it, please. Okay, so 61 6 here. We're, we're quoting the Quran here, a credible yes. source. 
And when Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, indeed, I am the messenger of Allah to you, confirming what came before me of the Torah and bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name is Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear evidence, they, evidences, they said, this is obvious magic. So this okay, is hold here. On, so, hold on. Uh, it uh, said Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Isaiah is not Jesus. Can you show me where Jesus mentioned Ahmed by name? I mean, if your Bible wasn't corrupt. Okay, I, I, okay so we got that. All right. Now, so that's what it our Bible's corrupt. Okay, I give you that. Okay. Sorry. For argument's sake, corrupt. No, you don't have now, to can you Jesus. show me from your Quran? I'm going to make it now even harder for you. Show me Ahmed is the same as Muhammad from your Quran. It's, it is the same. This is a known fact. Show me Ahmed is the same as your Muhammad in the Quran. Don't assume it. Show it to me. No, no. If you know the Arabic language. Yeah, I do. Ah Muhammad, Ahmed. Muhammad, they may have Muhammad, the same root, but they're not the my same. Friend, my friend, listen, listen. Ahmed, Muhammad, Mahmoud, Muhammadun. This is the same name. They originate from Muhammad. One of Allah's names is Mahmoud. So are you saying Allah is Muhammad? No, no. Okay. I'm telling you. Show me Ahmed. Is the same as Muhammad that they're the same person. This is my challenge. Very simple from the Quran. So this is something you have to know Arabic for if you want okay. to pull up. Do you I agree, PLO, that one of Allah's names is Mahmud? I can pull up a source, but it's going to okay. be like a PLO. Source. Can you? You want to? I say I'm trying to respect you, so you don't think I'm emotional. You, I've seen how one of the names of Allah is Mahmud. Al Mahmud. He's called Mahmud. Okay. <clears throat> you just said Mahmud, Muhammad, Ahmed. They're all the same. So you just made Allah Muhammad. Of course it's not. They come from the same root, but it doesn't mean you have the same person in mind. So I'm going to make my challenge simple so everyone sees it. You can refute me. Show me that the Ahmed of the Quran is the same as Muhammad, your prophet, that they're the same person. We're waiting. Yeah, like I said, I mean, if I pull up something, I can pull up a lot. A lot. Okay, give me one. One. That Ahmed is the same person you, as Muhammad you, you, when Muhammad's name only appears four times in the Quran. Do you speak Arabic? Do you know the language? I don't even speak English. Don't worry about that. Can you show me? Well, that, that's, that's show me in the Quran where Ahmed is the same person as Muhammad when the name Muhammad only appears four times in the Quran. They're the same person. My friend, like I said, there's many articles out there okay, right. that state Ahmed so and Muhammad. I, I, I check out. I give out the white flag. So I'm sorry you don't you don't agree. This is your stance, but at the end of the day, I hope God guides you the right path. Yeah, his right. name is Thank Jesus. You. Yes, Thanks yeah, for Thanks yeah. I'm glad you get the fortunate that you're hanging out with people well, like well, this. I, I think it's unfortunate that you're being dishonest with yourself, man. Intellectually, spiritually, mentally, man. You gotta I mean, be honest with what you read, bro. You can't bring me a source and say that guy was spot on. We read the source and then you say, "Oh, it was corrupted." So let me ask you this: since, since, on, since wait, 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 since the part, the part that, the, right the part that right Central right. brought up, because Central brought up those verses in John fourteen. Well, they didn't bring up verses. You actually did. Thank you for that. But Central brought up John fourteen. We read those verses and saw what the verses actually say. So, and they're corrupted according to you. So, was Central wrong? The guy that came up before you was he wrong? Recording those passages now? So, no, he wasn't wrong because he said it right on. The reminiscences or traces. The reminiscences again. All right. Thank you, PLO. I appreciate you, bro. No problem, man. I hope God guides you the right path. Oh, we are, we're already got it. We're it's already up got to it. you guys because we spent three hours here and it's the same art. You want me to go into Jesus? It's up to you. What do you guys want to do? Uh, so, really, there's no guarantee that there will be any action. Okay. That's up to you guys. I don't so, know how much time you guys got. We got some time. We're chilling. Whoa. All right, sure. well, let's, okay, let's go. We're going to change it now because this is three hours. I want to break because I'm about to hang myself with my shoestrings. <laughs> now, guys, I want to prophesy. If the Lord tarries, I pray I finish the race with integrity and glorify the Lord till I die. And they do the same. But remember, if I'm not around, when this man's 51, if he doesn't start blocking and cussing people out, then you'll say, you know what? Anathema to Sam Shimon. He's already joined me, right? You're already doing You're like, you're right. He, the brother right here, he's already blocking people and getting rid of them. Because this is what's going to do to you. That's why I got no more hair. All my hair is in my nose. All right. So do you want to segue into something else? Yeah. So, guys, so now what we're going to be talking about, and now I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to okay. guarantee you that somebody does not do it. So it's getting a little cold. I'm going to put my coat in here. All right. So up in here, up in here. So, we're going to deal with uh, the titles of Allah. Versus the titles of Jesus. 
And why does Allah seem to steal the titles of Jesus that we see in the gospel? Exactly. I'm going to show you Jesus says things that the Quran says can only be true of Allah, proving Jesus claimed to be God. But at the same time, that shows you the Quran needs Jesus and stole from Jesus. Oh, all right. Can we do that? Yep. We can all right. Do so now, do we have any Muslims who want to come up and hear my challenge? I'm going to show you some challenges, Muslims. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? Bum, bum, ready for this? All right. We got a Muslim? It looks like it. All right. Let's see if he's going to focus. All right. Hello. Hi, yes, sir. Are you ready for this challenge or no? I mean, I was waiting for the next guy. For I can't hear you. A little challenge. louder. Huh? A little louder. I can't hear you. Okay. I was waiting in line for like the other topic before. Okay, but, I mean, so okay. I, I, what, I, what do you wanna? What you wanna show us where Jesus predicted Muhammad? No, I wanna ask. Uh, how okay. many? Okay, so you believe one God, correct? What does that got to do with Jesus predicting Muhammad? You said you've been waiting a long time for this. No, no, I said I was waiting for the other guy previously before him. Okay, so are we on the topic of Jesus now, or what? Because you confused me. Yeah, no, I want to talk about the okay. Trinity. All right, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, why did your God, Allah, steal the titles of Jesus? What do you mean steal? Yeah, because steal in Surah al -Haq, uh, Surah al I'm sorry, Surah al Hajj, chapter 22, 6 to 7, he's going to bring it up. Hold on, let me show you so you can then address mm -hmm. it. Because you're going to now see that Jesus claimed to be God and that God of the Quran, whom you believe is the true God, stole these names from Jesus. Chapter 22, verses 6 and 7. So I want to know why is that? Because supposedly, Allah is the true God, Jesus is only a prophet, and yet the Bible that comes before the Quran, Jesus says the things that Allah then claims for himself. 22, 6 and 7, I'll read. That is because Allah alone is the truth. al -Haq. Pay attention to the names. Allah alone mm -hmm. is the truth. You can bring up John 5. All right? He alone gives life to the dead. Allah gives life to the Pay attention. Allah gives life to the dead. And he alone is most capable of everything. And certainly, the hour is coming. I want you to listen so you can then answer my challenge. The hour is coming. There is no doubt about it. And Allah will surely resurrect those in the graves. Now, I want you to see what the Quran says about Allah. Allah is the truth, the truth, He alone. He alone gives life to the dead. And the hour will come. He will give life to those in their graves. Okay, pay attention to that. Now, this comes after the Gospel of John. Whether you think it's corrupt or not, I just want you to see this. Go to John 5, 21. Watch here. Look what Jesus said over 500 years before Muhammad. Five John 5. You want to read? Let me read. John 5. Come on, right, I got it. I got it. Good. Listen to this. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. For the Father. Now, did you catch it? Mm -hmm. 21. Yeah. The Father gives life and the Son gives life too, just like the Father. The Son gives it to whom he wants. Now, yeah. don't forget what Allah says. Allah alone gives life to the dead. Allah alone is the truth, and at the hour, Allah will raise them from their graves. Now read John 5, 25. All right. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. The Jesus speaking, the hour is coming. The Quran says that's the hour Allah will raise them from their graves. The hour is coming when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. I, the Son of God. And then in 2029, 20, what will the Son of God do at that hour with his voice? Do not marvel at this, Sam, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. So before Allah, Jesus said he gives life to the dead. And Jesus said, when the hour comes, I, the Son of God, will raise the dead from their tombs and graves by my voice. And in John 14, 6, Jesus answered and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth and the life. Why did Allah take the things of Jesus? Can you read a verse about the where, where it says the Son of God will, no, they will hear the Son of God's voice? Yeah, yep. John 5, 25. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here. When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. So explain what we just told you. Allah comes centuries later, your Quran, and Allah says he's the truth. 
Jesus said that before Allah. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the light, and I'm also the light. And then Allah says, he alone gives light to the dead. Jesus says, I, the Son, with the Father, give light. And Allah says, the hour is coming. I will raise them from the graves. Jesus, before Allah said it, said, I, the Son of God, at the hour, will raise them out of their graves. So why is Allah taking the titles of Jesus? Allah's not stealing anything. So why is Jesus claiming the things that your Allah claims in the Quran? I mean, like, I mean, I don't like obviously believe the Bible to be the word of God, so I don't know. What do you say? He said, I don't believe the Bible to be the word of God. That Well, that's irrelevant. We just told you that we Christians who follow John, which was written before the Quran, historically, John is written in the first century. Muhammad's Quran comes in the seventh century. So we have manuscripts of John before the Quran was ever composed, where here John is quoting Jesus saying these things. So when I'm a Christian, I'm like, hey, Jesus said this long before the Quran appeared. So why is your Quran taking the words of Jesus and putting it in the mouth of Allah? I mean, it's not. That's just yes, like it is. Which came first, John or the Quran? Matter. So you think just by necessity, something came after? It's no, false. we're not. No, don't attack strong yeah. Because Muhammad says no, he's that's... coming in the line of the prophets of the Bible, and he is a prophet after Jesus. So when I look at the scriptures of those prophets that Muhammad said he came to confirm and he came in the line of, these books are there from those prophets that he mentions. He didn't mention Krishna or Shiva or Vishnu. I'm not talking about old texts. I'm talking about the prophets that the Quran acknowledges. And I'm looking at the scriptures that mention those prophets that the Quran acknowledges. So John is mentioning Jesus whom the Quran mentions and has Jesus saying these things. That your Quran then takes and puts in the mouth of Allah. Why? I mean, look, I don't know why the Bible says, because I don't even like, I was I don't believe it to be the full I see, can't God, hear. What is he saying? That's because he says, I don't believe. Basically, yeah, he doesn't care what the Bible says because he doesn't believe it. That's basically what you're saying, right, Lenin? I mean, I'm saying I don't believe the Bible to be the full word of God, obviously, but. And I believe the Quran to be the full word. Of okay, it doesn't so. matter what you believe. We're talking about history. Let me explain how history works. Historically, forget about faith. Put faith aside for a minute. Historically, I have manuscripts of this book called John that have been in existence and preserved before the Quran was composed. Even atheists will tell you, yes, this Gospel of John, we don't believe it's God's word. We don't believe it's inspired, but yes, it was written before the Quran. So as an historian, just as an historian, if I'm just looking at it as from historical perspective, not Christian Muslim, wow, this gospel comes before the Quran, and Jesus says, I'm the truth and the life. And he says, the hour is coming where he, the son, will raise the dead out of their tombs. And lo and behold, this book that comes later says that this God named Allah, he is the truth. He gives life, and he will raise them from their graves at the hour. So as an historian, I say, hmm, this book came first. And as Jesus saying the things that this religion, which came later, says, God says. In other words, Jesus is claiming to be God according to your Quran. So again, I'm wondering, why is the Quran, which is historically later, acknowledging that these are names and titles that only God can <clears throat> claim because it says that Allah alone are these things, but Jesus says it about himself. If Jesus wasn't God, according to this book, and your Quran is not plagiarizing the words of Jesus. Okay, well, how does, how does mm -hmm. this prove when it says that um, on that day the hear the Son of Man or Son of God's voice? So how does that, how does that prove that? Like, you'll it means that your Quran is acknowledging that Jesus is claiming to be God, which is no, why I have to say it's corrupted. So do you agree? No. I'm asking, I'm asking, how does that prove that he's going to resurrect the dead? Because he said, I will. You want me to read it again? No, but you said it. It's said... like me asking you, how does it prove your Allah is going to raise anyone when your Allah doesn't exist? No, because Allah says it like verbatim. I don't care what he says. Allah doesn't exist. Muhammad lied. So how does that prove Allah will do it using your logic? No, what? No, I don't think you understood my question. No, I understood your question. You're saying Jesus claims it. Well, how do you know he does it? The same way you think Allah will do it. Just because someone claims it doesn't mean anything. No. So you're not getting my argument. 
No, no, I'm asking. Okay, what's my argument? Review my argument. Because you're saying that he said he's the way, the truth, and life, and on that day he's gonna raise yeah. the dead. And he stuff. said it, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm saying what he said. So who's he? You were quoting Jesus. So according to the Quran, what Jesus claimed are these things that the Quran says only God can claim? No, that's what I'm asking about the resurrection thing. When you say okay. you want, you're kidding me, right? You want us to read it again? Okay, one more time for our for our fair feathered friend, John 5 28 29. Okay, let's see because you missed it the first 20 times. John 5 28 29. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done e evil to the resurrection of judgment. Now, according to chapter 22, verse 7, mm -hmm. and certainly the hour is coming, there is no doubt about it, and Allah will surely resurrect those in the grave. What is that hour? The day of judgment. So why you ask me how do you know it's the day of resurrection? Jesus said, the hour is coming. I, the Son of God, will raise them from the tombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I said before, like, I don't know why it says. Okay, so, but do you acknowledge that if my gospel is not corrupt, let's just say, Agnar, it's true, it's not corrupt, Jesus said it. Would you then acknowledge that if it's true, Jesus is claiming to be God? Uh, to me, it doesn't make sense because it's not. No, like I didn't ask what makes sense to you. You're not God, you're not the standard. Let me repeat my question again. I'm getting too old for this. Okay, one more time. If we assume, just assume, like here, if I assume the Quran is true, Allah is truly God. He's the one I'm going to stand before. That's if I believe the Quran. Okay. But I can't, I can't assume it though. Cause oh, because you'd be saying, okay, that's fine. Way, no, because same way you can't assume that Allah is like the Lord or the Quran is the truth. No, he's, like, he's, he's saying hypothetically, bro. He's like hypothetically. I don't believe Allah is, uh, of the Quran is God, but right. I'll say for but argument's man, sake. If I follow the Quran, then this God, Allah, he's a true God, and I will stand before him in judgment. That's if I believe in the Quran. It says that, but I don't believe in it, so I don't care. So could you then say, okay, Christians, yes. Your Gospel of John, if I were to admit it's true, then yes, Jesus claimed to be God in this Gospel. Yes? Uh, no, because at the same time, he still says stuff which... Kind of contradicts if him being God. No, there's nothing in those statements that contradict other statements. It only shows Jesus is not the Father. But according to your Quran, only God can say he's the truth. Only God will raise the dead from their graves at the hour. Something that Jesus said he the Son will do. And about the truth part, was Moses the truth for no. that time? For no, no he prophet wasn't. called himself the truth. Stop twisting words. There's I'm, a difference I'm, between, I'm, I'm, you want me to refute you? Question. You want to lie? Okay, I want to prove your lie. Quote question. a single verse where Moses says, I'm the truth, or where your Muhammad said, I'm the truth. Quote it. I can't recall any. There's none. Secondly, one of the 99 names of Allah is Al-Haq, the truth. If you dare say Moses is the truth, you committed shirk, you're going to hell. No, that's not that's, that's not even true. One of the 99 names of Allah, Al-Haq. Let me read it again. 22 verse 6. I know that. That is because Allah alone is the truth. He alone gives life to the dead, and he alone is most capable of everything. Only Allah is the truth. You can reveal the truth, but you cannot be called the truth. So stop lying to me. So can you show me where Moses says, I'm the truth? I can. Can you show me where Muhammad says, I'm the truth? I haven't researched this, so I don't think so. You can't. He never says it. Can you show me where Muhammad says, I'm the life? No. If you did, then Muhammad would be committing shirk. Can you show where Moses says, I am the life? I have not research, so my answer is going to be no. Nowhere. But Jesus says, I am the truth and the life. Something that your Quran says, only Allah says. So again, according to the Gospel of John, for argument's sake, can you be honest enough and not lie? Yes, if I were to believe the Gospel of John, yet then Jesus in the Gospel claims to be God, though he's not the Father. No, I already gave this answer. Okay. Let me give you another one that Allah stole from Jesus. Chapter 57, verse 3. Surah Al-Hadid. 57, verse 3. Allah, again, Allah is plagiarizing Jesus. 
Okay, now listen, I want to see if you're going to be honest. So far you're trying, and I'm going to give you benefit of doubt. 57 verse 3. Here, watch here. This is Surat al-Hadid. This is the Quran. And it says, you want to read it? Yeah. 57 verse 3. Now watch here. What is the 57 verse 3? Yeah, you got it there? Yeah. All right, watch here. Surah al okay. He is the first and last. This is Allah. Al-awwal wal-akhir. He is the first and the last, the most high, the most near, and he has perfect knowledge of all things. He is the first and last. Allah says he is the first and last. You believe yes. this is Allah speaking? Al-awwal yes. wal-akhir. These are two of the 99 names of Allah. You cannot say it of a creature because it means he was there from the beginning. He'll be there at the end because he's... There, when time started, he'll be there at the end of the age. So only Allah can be first and last. Now, the Bible agrees. Open up Revelation 1. That's slow, dude. The Bible agrees that these are names of God. Names of God. Watch here. Revelation 1, 17. So the Bible agrees. Yes, these are names of God. God is the first and last. Because look what the Bible says. Because you do believe that the Bible and Quran, they agree at times. And those parts that agree with the Quran, you accept. Okay, now here. The Bible agrees. These are the names of God. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am the first and the last. The Quran says Allah is the first and the last. So you see here, the Bible Revelation. agrees that God is the first and the last. Do you agree? Is it in Revelation? What does he say? Is that in Revelation? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't this? Who cares who wrote it? Even if it's corrupt, get to the point. That's Do you agree that I'm this person who says first last, this is God speaking? Let stop assuming, let me finish. I was going to say. What did he say? He said, stop assuming and let me finish. No, because I didn't ask you a question about what revelation is. I'm asking you with the Quran, first and last, can someone other than God say this first was, This was John's dream or slash vision. Okay, but your prophet had dreams that became part of the Quran. Chapter 8, verses 43, 44. You just John, buried your Quran. God. John worshiped the angel two times. So how are we going to And yet you your word? prophet kissed the black stone and recited satanic okay, verses. Okay. Don't your change Bible the says, subject. Okay. I'm not changing anything. Okay. Your, okay. Your is the title the first and last? Is the title first and last titles of God, yes or no? Only belong to Allah only. Say it again. <laughs> only belongs to Allah. Okay, say it again. I've said it two times. Well, three, three times. We like three. Because your prophet liked three. Water in your nose three times. Talak, talak, talak three times. So it's, funny, it's, it's ironic how you're saying. Three. Okay, so the first last is the title of who? To only Allah. Okay. When did your Allah die? Fear not, I'm the first and last, the living one, and die, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. So you just admit your Allah died. When did your Allah die? How? How did I admit? When did your Allah die? Allah can never die. But Allah you just die. said. Only Allah is the first last. Let me reread what Allah said. Right. Fear not. Only. Let me read, read it. I know you're scared. Take it easy. Fear not. I'm I am scared. the first and the last. You said only Allah is that. Okay, Allah. Allah says the living one and die and behold, I'm alive forevermore. So when did your Allah die? Allah never died. He so can't. who is this first last who died? This was John's dream vision. So who I is this according died. to John? According to him, it's he's saying it's Jesus saying. Okay, so why did Allah steal Jesus' name? Do you not hear what I just said before? Why did Allah steal Jesus' name? Nothing got stolen. I yes, it is. It is revelations before the Quran. No, bro, this John guy was who wrote the Quran, time. this You're trash Quran. Him. We don't know this Muhammad. Show me in the Quran who Muhammad is. Bro. You're quoting this John guy who worshipped an an angel. And times. then yet your prophet licked the black stone and recited satanic verses. Bro, okay, so who is this Quran? Who wrote the Quran? You're trying. Eyes on it. Your God, the Bible set a stone with seven eyes on it. Oh, you, oh, you mean the uh, the seven eyes that your prophet licked? So he licked those seven eyes of God? Is that what you're saying? The black stone is? No, in your Bible. It's Wait, like, it's so the stone that your prophet licked, like a pagan, was that the seven eyes of God? No, I'm talking about your Bible. Did your Quran and your Hadith say that the black stone that your prophet licked, like a pagan, those are the seven eyes of God? No, what do you say? No, okay. Now, can you show me in my Bible where it says that stone that are the seven eyes of God, kiss it and lick it like your pagan prophet? I can show you the past in Bible where show me kissing. in the Bible where it says those seven eyes of God on that stone, 
You lick it and smooch it like your pagan prophet did the black stone. Okay, you're the pagan. Don't start insulting. Okay, no, he is a pagan. That's what the pagans did. Are you wait? Did the pagans before your prophet kiss that black stone too? Yes or no? Did the pagans before your prophet kiss the black stone too? They were not. I'll send it to Abraham. The pagans before. I'm not talking about Ishmael who was never in Mecca. The pagans. Did they do tawaf? Did they throw seven stones and kiss the black stone? Yes or no? I don't know. Okay. Any. Anyway. All right, young man. Thank you. Though we enjoyed this conversation. Let's bring okay, it over. So, how, when can I ask my question? Oh, uh, not really. No, because we changed the topic. About Take the, care. So you're scared. Yeah, I'm scared of like Aisha was the when your you prophet mounted speak. her, like the dog he was. I'm scared. We got someone else. Come on. You know what the topic is, man. You didn't even turn interrupt it for a minute. Well, not like, a second, man. What happened? It was cooking, man. When you cook, you you let him, you let you let the chef cook. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's see. You know the topic. What it is, Muslims. Why did your Quran plagiarize the words of Jesus? Steal the words of Jesus, proving Jesus claimed to be God. Let's see if we got anyone. That's why you guys got to be quick by the power of the Holy Spirit. All glory to the Father, Holy Spirit. All glory to the Holy Spirit. Crush, destroy our flesh. Fill us to glorify Jesus. Never bring attention to ourselves. You got to be quick to catch these shots. Oh, yeah, God has seven eyes. That's a stone. So is that what your prophet licked? The black stone is seven eyes of Yahweh? They think they're being slick. What? Let me know when we want to head out, right? Oh no, because I know it's if you want to. We could we, 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 we could do uh we could do one more. Let's yeah, let's do, do one more. Let's see if we try to get it. Because you got great men though, about seventeen hundred. How much you got here? We got fourteen hundred now. There, yeah. like yesterday, the numbers are rolling, players. Yeah, let's go something there, and it's already close over three. So let's do one more. Yeah, one more. One more, guys. Oh, 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 Lord, I'm still here till Monday, so I'll be here another time to get him infamous and make Muslim. Can you guys hear me? Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, we can hear you. Salam alaikum. Salatu wassalam ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Ah. So what we got? In Arabic. It's like he's like puffing and puffing. What's up? So you know what our topic is? What's the topic? Well, the topic is now is you have the Quran taking names and titles that Jesus claims in the Gospels, okay. but it trips you to a lot. Okay. Why? Do you understand, right? The Bible and the Quran, they're both Abrahamic books, yeah? No. You look at this book, yeah? No, we don't Ten understand. 10,000 words. Okay, did you, what was my question? Can you review my question? God's glory. It's speaking about God's glory. Can you repeat my so question? Do you understand how there are going to be similarities? Do you understand? Okay, can you repeat my question? What? Your question? Yeah, repeat my question. So what you're asking me is why are there similarities between the Quran and the Bible? No, that's yeah. what. See, so you're lying. That's not what I said. Yeah, that is what you said. No, you I said, didn't. Oh, Let me repeat because, it again. Because Allah, Let me repeat Allah it again. happens to have the same attributes as what repeat you believe. Repeat my Bible. question. Repeat it. You repeat it. Okay. Your Quran stole the titles and names of Jesus. I didn't say similarities between Quran and Bible. Names of Jesus, names that Jesus claims for himself in the Bible, Jesus, and it takes those titles and claims and attributes it to your God, Allah. Why? Okay. okay. So, Allah, let's have a respectful discussion. Let's not curse. Can you, just okay. Can you answer the question? Why? Yes, I'll answer your question. So, do you believe, believe Jesus is God? Can you answer my question? Yes, we believe Jesus is God. According we to your Quran, Jesus, Jesus claimed to be God. So when you, according to your Quran, Jesus, let me answer you. According to your Quran, Jesus claimed to be God. Can you not interrupt me, please? Can according to your Quran, Jesus you claimed to be God? Please? That's the whole point. Are you going to let me speak. I go into. Okay, let me now speak. answer my question. Why did Allah steal Jesus' titles? Okay, the Bible. Right, Jesus is God in the Bible, and Allah is God in the Quran. So, oh, so you admit Jesus is God in the Bible, in the guys. He admit Jesus is God in the Bible. But you I believe it. You believe it. Okay. Brother, so why did Allah brother, steal the names of Jesus? A question. Do you believe Jesus is God? According to your Quran, Jesus claimed to be God. Yes. Oh, huh? Okay. You want me to repeat it five more times? Do you believe Jesus According to your Quran, Jesus claimed to be God. You said yes. So thank you for admitting the Quran acknowledges Jesus okay, claimed to be God. Quran plagiarizing the Bible when Quran says Allah is the Wahid, the one, Al Ahad. It can claim whatever it wants. That's some Sorry. madman who came centuries later. Okay, why did Allah steal why did Allah steal Jesus' titles? Tell me how many names Allah has. I don't care. Why did Allah yeah. steal Jesus' titles? Oh my days. Do you 57 understand? verse 3 of your Quran okay, here. Let so me get you one. Me? 
57 verse 3 of your Quran. 57 verse 3 of your Quran. Here's one of the titles that your God stole from Jesus. 57 verse 3, Surat al Hadid. Okay, so you're trying to tell me he is the Allah first and the last. Don't speak over your Quran. He, so is the the he is the first and the last. He is the first and the last. But does he even understand what you're No, this guy's slower than Muhammad. I, 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 He's the first and the last. Okay, uh, uh, Jesus called himself the first and the last in the Bible. Okay, so why did Allah steal Jesus' name first and the last? Because he is. We believe he's the first and the last. Why is oh, that but so you admit he stole it from Jesus. So Jesus claimed to be first and last. What does that make him? Oh, my days. You don't understand. How is it? If Jesus claimed to be first and the last, according to what you just said, listen to yourself more than you're trying to argue because you just proved my point. Allah is the first and last and he is. But that's what Jesus claimed. So you're admitting that when Allah claimed to be first and last, for Jesus to claim that, he must be claiming to be God. Okay, so you're telling me by Allah claiming godly attributes, he's plagiarizing Jesus? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm telling you the first no, and that's last. that's what you're trying to say. The you first and the last. You, you want me to tell you what I said or you want to manifest? Okay, inshallah, I'll let you talk. The okay. first and the last are titles that speak of God being there from the beginning and being there at the end. You cannot apply it to creatures. And I'm not talking about characteristics that are similar to God. Don't attack Stramen. Don't lie. I'm talking about titles that even your chronic acknowledges can only be given to Allah, not a creature. Don't play the game with yeah. me, godly qualities. But you're so when Jesus says things. first and last, can a creature who's not God claim that first and last? Number one, you need to understand. Do you believe Jesus is eternal? Yes, you believe Jesus is eternal. Do you agree that a creature cannot say I'm the first and the of last like Jesus said? Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Do okay. So wait, wait, wait. Don't run. Okay, you're done. So if revelation is true, hypothetically, let's see if you can argue hypothetically, because I know it's hard for you guys. If revelation is true, Jesus said that. When Jesus says, I'm the first and last, do you now agree that Jesus claimed to be the eternal God when he says, I'm the first and last? Can God die? Yes, if he becomes man, he can die without ceasing if to Jesus, exist. Do you believe Jesus? You changed the subject, but let me answer you. Yes, let me answer you. Stop okay, manifesting. Let me answer you. Coward, let me answer you. Yes, if why God becomes be man, God can. Did I Dude, can you? you yes, because you're insulting me by changing subject like a coward. That's an insult to my intelligence. How is that? How am I a coward? You're God can. Can, can you stop and let me answer your question, you coward? Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. God can die a human death if he becomes man without ceasing to exist. Now, do okay. you agree? Don't change the subject. I know you want to run. When Jesus said, I am the first and the last, that is a claim that only God can make because that means you're the eternal God. You need to understand. If it's in the Bible, it doesn't mean I need to believe it. Did you remember what I said, think hypothetically? So you just proved my point. You can't. Think hypothetically. hypothetically. Hypothetically, hypothetically, if the Bible is not corrupt and of Jesus course. said that, do you agree that means Jesus claimed to be God? No. Do you know why? Do you know why? Inshallah, let me show you why. No, you can't because you just said your Quran is trash because that Quran lied. Show me someone other than Allah in your Quran that says he's the Show me someone other than Allah in the first and the last. Show me. In the Quran or in the Hadith in the Sunnah? In the Quran and Hadith, first and the last. The Sahih Hadith, first and the last. Inshallah, Inshallah, I'm happy you said that. Well, I'm, happy you said that. I'm glad you're because I'm going to bury your prophet and showing you that he's a god in hell because he committed shirk. Go ahead. Why are you cursing? I thought no, we because if you show me Muhammad claimed to be al awwal wal akhir, you buried Muhammad because according to your Quran, these are the names of Allah. Thank you for proving Muhammad committed shirk. Have See, you and you thought you got me. <laughs> Go ahead. Quote it. Show me. This is Muhammad. You're very fun because we're barbecuing this now. Go ahead. Show me in the hadith. Okay. Inshallah. One second. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. Rabbul Yasu, who's the Rabb of Muhammad. Go ahead. Yeah. You can't speak Arabic. Stop, please. Yeah, you can't speak English, and your prophet couldn't speak Arabic either. But go ahead. I can't speak English. Yeah, get the Arabic. Your prophet's Arabic suck. But anyway, go ahead. Anyway. Arabic so yeah, we'll get there. Just get to the hadith, dude. Run, run, Aisha, run. We're waiting. This is comedy, man. You want me to cut According it? According to you, you yes. run, get the hadith, dude. Hurry up.
That boy typing, ain't he? Yes. Maybe hey. Chef Google takes Shahada. He, he, there he, is no God but Allah, and Chef Google is his messenger. Type. <laughs> he poured he he pour on that keyboard, boy. Smash it. Strike. Strike. Keyboard beater. Go ahead, yeah. Okay, inshallah. It's in the mosque with a group of his followers sitting Slowly and read it. They said to, to him, narrate to us, O commander of the faithful. Let me skip. Let me skip. Oh, yeah, you have to skip it. Yeah. Give us the context. <laughs> it's a lot of reading, brother, please. Yeah, we are. We can see your reading. Yeah. That's perfect because you're probably good to read. <laughs> I am the one who became elevated and did overcome. Say it again louder. We can't hear you, dude. I'm the one what? I am the one who became elevated and did overcome. Allah is the one who gives life and death. Mm. I am the first and the last one. I am the apparent one and the hidden one. Who is the first and the last one? He's speaking. Okay, it's hard for you to understand because you always want people to be No, God. no, who is the first and the last one and the hidden one? Let me play this real quick. Hold on. Who is the hidden one? Read it. Wait, let me turn my camera on. No, no, no. no, it's okay because you just showed Ali is in hell read, with Muhammad. Read this, read this. So I guess you're a Shia. You're one of those. Tafsir. Who Shia. Brother, there's a tafsir. There's a tafsir. Okay, tafsir of who? This tafsir of the speech. Of whose speech? Ali's, Ali's. That's what I just said. You made Ali a god, which is why he burned you know your pagans. Do you know what tafsir means? Yeah, it means... Get to the point. Tafsir is commentary. Commentary. My brother. Get to the point. You've been tap dancing like Aisha did. Get to the point. How is Jesus lost if he died? Explain that to me. Very easy. Because Jesus became man, experienced human death. But you ran from my point. Can a prophet who's a creature say I'm the first and last? Yes or no? No. Say it again. No, no. Thank you. So now think hypothetically with me. He said no. If hypothetical, I'm not saying you believe it. If revelation was true and Jesus said that, would you not be acknowledging for Jesus say, I'm the first and last, he's claiming to be God? No, I don't believe okay, that. Okay, all right. Thank you, buddy. We can, we got to go. Thank you. We appreciate you, buddy. Let me run. I'm, I'm scared of you guys. If You're you scared. say Jesus Take is the first and the last, how can he die? Yeah, okay. Explain that to me. Yes. Sir. Explain that to yeah, me. Okay. Don't run. Don't Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is what you do to Islam. You guys seeing it? You effeminate cowards? You effeminate cowards, you quarterback cowards who think you're pious and Christian, the Lord rebuke you and crush your mouths to teach you to fear the Lord. This is how you deal with Islam. This is how you deal with Islam. They just acknowledge Jesus claimed to be God and that no one could claim the things that Jesus claimed unless he was God. This is how you bury Islam. Because if not, they're going to bury you. And when they can't defeat you intellectually, they'll try to behead you. But we are more than conquerors by the blood of Jesus. Jesus owns our life. Our lives are in his hands. We will die when the Lord wants us to. And may the Lord be glorified in our lives to be doers of the word, not just hearers of the word. So I hope you are blessed. You're going viral, brother. We're done. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and end this one. Um, man, uh, favorite guest. What is it? Favorite guest. Who's your favorite? My favorite guest? Mm -hmm. It'll always be you, homie. Oh, man, I, I appreciate love you. That. Always him. But out, out of the people who participate. Oh, you mean here? Uh -huh. Bilkis. <laughs> yeah. No, Bilkis. <laughs> I mean, like I thought you said, well, bring on. No, Bilkis, mm -hmm. Bil I love you. I pray Jesus will open your heart. You mm -hmm. are too good to be a Muslim. Yep. May you come to the feet of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We appreciate mm -hmm. you guys. Uh, thank you, moderators, for holding it down in the chat uh, on both TikTok and YouTube. Uh, make sure, guys, if you have not done it already, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Follow. If you guys are not doing it yet, follow God Logic on Apologetics Amen. on YouTube. Also, follow Shimonian on YouTube. This is where you'll find Sam Shimon's material. He goes live all the time, teaching lessons and just yapping and, and bapping and all that kind of stuff. By the way, let us know if you were you enjoyed us and were blessed by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Because we do this for the glory of Jesus first. We pray. That's our motive. And to serve you, to build you up, to be bold lions and lionesses of the faith. You need to do this. Take the arguments. Use it. Look what he did. He learned and he's doing it. We need more soldiers, not less. Amen. And you can do it. We're not better than you. And that's the truth. I'm not just saying to say it. 
The same spirit that's filling him, I pray is filling me, will fill you to do the same work, even better than me, because I got my issues, even though I'm handsome. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. I wasn't able to read uh, your super chats throughout the live. It was, you know, a lot going on. It was busy, but I, I want you guys to know that we see it, and both Sam and I are, are truly grateful uh, because of you guys' gifts and things of this nature and supporting the ministry. So if you are not subscribed, please go. My, my YouTube is attached to my TikTok bio. Go and subscribe to God Logic Apologetics. We just hit 101,000 subscribers. Subscribe to Shimonian. I'm on almost 200,000. He's We're almost 200,000. Let's Within go. Within a year, I went up to almost 200,000. Thank awesome, the Lord. Man. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The numbers for your glory. Glory to God. Praise. Glory to God. So God is growing the kingdom. He's raising up laborers and he's putting us out there, guys, to strengthen the church, to equip you guys to be able to do the same and plant seeds. Um, give this uh, this page a follow. This is my main account. So if you're not following the page, follow it right now. If you like this and you want to be notified when we're live tomorrow and the rest of the day, I know it's probably lagging, but you guys can hear me just fine. Give the page a follow. Follow me right now. If you guys are not have been done it yet, follow the page so that you guys can get notified of when I go live again. I do this all the Amen. time. Okay. We need more people full-time ministry. Pray he's one of them. Full-time ministry, full-time support, all of us. We do this, and we're praying for him to get to that point, too, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. So thank you, TikTok. Thank you to uh, the Muslims who were respectful. Uh, Bukis Bell, was the best. Bell, Bukis. man. Bukis was the best. Man. Bell. Took it on the chin through the shots, too. And, every, I and mean, she even laughed. Yes. And she even laughed she, at me. She can have a good what time. A good spirit. Yeah, good spirit. Yeah, good spirit. Lord save you, sister. The Lord Jesus save you, my sister in humanity. That's right. So uh, we'll be back again, Lord willing, tomorrow. And uh, we'll have some good topics to go to go forward, okay? So y'all be blessed on TikTok. Thank you so much. Again, hit the follow button so that you guys can be notified when we go live again tomorrow and the rest Let of the Let me just share this. Bobby said, Bobby, God bless you. Give that like button a beating just like Sam does to Allah every day and his followers. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. We amen that. <laughs> That's right. If you're not subscribed on YouTube and you're just watching in, you're new to it. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notifications on so that you can be notified when we go live. Uh, you know, we don't know what, what, what tomorrow will bring. Yeah. Tomorrow yes. we will be. Lord willing, yes. We, yeah, Lord, Lord willing, we got a, a meeting with an imam tomorrow. Uh, so, man, glory to God for that. Let's pray that that conversation goes well, that it lasts long, that we can go deep into some subjects and some issues and have a good, uh, fruitful discussion. Okay. You guys be blessed. Central Dawa, the guy that, that came on and said, we're talking about remnants and remnants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remnant, he started a live talking about Sam Shimon ran. Yeah. Is this your guy? Yeah, I ran. Like my, Aisha ran. We, Aisha ran and I ran goodness. from your PDF for Muhammad, who's in hell. My God. He also man. said Sam dropped him. Let him know Sam did not drop him. Yeah. Let him yeah. drop him. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Who cares? Let him bark. That means we live in your head. Yeah. Like I'm in Muhammad's head, run free. Rent free, man. I went on his live. They already got recorded it. He's already looking at it on another screen. Talking, see, look, he, he, he leaned up onto the phone and he dropped me. Sam, Dude, Sam, Sam still Sam here. Sam oh, gee. Oh, no. But you can just say because Sam's the Kahba. Get it? Assyrian, Syrian, Chaldean. The guy called me Kahba. <laughs> oh, I'm hurt. My mother told me worse things than that, man. If you guys want to rewatch this, there's going. it's on YouTube. So you guys can rewatch. Let yesterday's stream and today's stream, okay? It's 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 uh it's gonna be there, you know, it's not gonna be taken down or anything like that. And we're also gonna be making clips of this too. So all right, y'all be blessed. We're out of here, man. Take care of yourself. Is risen, risen indeed. indeed, Yeshua Akbar. Me. All right, that's YouTube, man. Just in time, phone was about to die. Good. Thank you guys so much for the super chats on YouTube. I appreciate you guys, but we're tired, we're getting out of here. Uh, hey, Avery, I want to link up about my company official dis dis disciplines. Let's collab and get you, uh, get you a custom shirt. That's right. right. Got Lord it. Let's talk about it. Let me pray. Let me lean her, baby. I got to lose that way. Love handles in Jesus' name. Tomorrow, my cheat day, but I better not kill myself. <laughs> <laughs>